Hey everybody, it's Party Leet. Welcome you back for another session of Magrebi Madness with Crusader Kings 3 and our wonderful family over here waiting to take over, well, at least half of North Africa and parts of Sub-Saharan Africa as well, I suppose. But uh, exciting times lie ahead. I know some of you were concerned that maybe this series is coming to a close as of last session when we avenged the Battle of Tour and gained the moniker, the Avenger. Uh, but no. No, it is not yet done. Our duties continue as we must form the Empire of Maghreb proper. After all, it is Maghrebi madness, right? Uh, party bot is not working. It should be working now. The thing takes, uh, there's a couple of clicks I have to do before it'll start uh, responding to commands. And those were all done just as the coming soon or starting soon screen was up. There we go. Looks like party bot's uh, alive now. Uh, really quickly, folks, as always, I just want to say thank you all for joining me on this. Well, over here, it's a gloomy Monday morning. Kind of a bummer to, to wake up to this darkness. Uh, but that's the status quo for for you know, fall and, and winter in Toronto. Hope you all are having a wonderful start to your weeks. I want to say hello to Saketh, uh, Sisimal Adeno, Jazzy B, Neil W, uh, Theotonius Ishan Sarkar, Natalie P, Just Elliot, or I guess it should be Elliot since it's Just Elliot, Ricky Cool, Merowin, I noticed you mentioned your birthday is coming up soon, in which case, happy early birthday, saw a couple of y'all mention that as well. Classified, welcome, welcome, Nisar Bhavsar, hello, hello. Spindle coming in there early on, dropping the Discord command before it was working, folks. He is right. Uh, quite a few people in that Discord that, uh, well, it's, it's over, I think, I think now it's over 3,300 people uh, hanging out, playing strategy games, having a wonderful time. Lots of CK3 multiplayer and stuff going on, as well as lots of other games, so feel free to join in now that the bot is working. 40 hours. A Karen O'Sullivan, hello, hello. Uh, who, who else have we got here? Jeffrey Nelson. Glad you can make it today, buddy. Max R, how's it going? And uh, Liz Purr, we got Seraxis, we've got Shazeb, Kevin Onox. <laughs> Everyone's dropping the, the Discord uh, command now. Um, and Fipsy12 as well. Fipsy, by the way, I got your message this morning. I assume it's you because the username matches. I got your message this morning, and I will be fixing that right after the stream. So thank you for that. Uh, uh, on uh, uh, thank, thank you for that message. Uh, unknown Extra. How's it going? Glad you can make it as well. Daft. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm digging the music. Oh, yeah. Honestly, Crusader Kings music is on point always. Anyway, let's dive into the action. Uh, I feel like that's a long enough intro to let people kind of filter in. And let's, uh, yeah, let's begin. Um, yeah. Malik Al Muazzam Ismail Ababwa, the Avenger. God, what a name. What a name, what a name, what a glorious beard, what a glorious name. Life of Rose Angel, how's it going? What are we doing today? I completely forgot where we left off other than accomplish the big goal. Uh, Ricky Cool Darkness, we just celebrated Festival of Lights of the Valley. Well, happy the Valley. Um, and uh, I hope you I hope you had a good time. <laughs> I hope you had a good time. Yeah, we uh, we did a little something here and there as well. Um, Diwali's always a Diwali's always a fun, fun time. But uh, let's let's stay focused on on, on the fireworks happening in Northern Africa. One of my worst segues ever, I know. <laughs> but bear with me. So we are at present at war with Italy, just as a reminder. One of our vassals had uh, had declared war on Italy for, well, trying to conquer, I think it was Hodna over here, or maybe it was the entire uh, Duchy of Zub, I think, maybe. Um, hang on a second. Doesn't Zub mean something rather rude in Arabic? Like, isn't it the childish way to refer to things that might get me demonetized if I mention them on YouTube? I don't know. But anyway, if, if anybody knows for sure, let me know. But I was pretty sure Zub was, uh, had an alternative meaning. Nonetheless, nonetheless, um, we had, uh, we, one of our vassals had, yes, declared this war against Italy, but they weren't faring so well. They were actually suffering, uh, significant losses, uh, and they were, I think, about to lose the war, and so we stepped in, we declared war. I was actually hoping that declaring war on Italy would mean that we'd be able to turn the tide of their war as well, but I suppose it invalidates their war because we can't be in a joint war because they're my vassal, I'm their liege, uh, so I think it, it invalidated their war, but nonetheless, at least they didn't, um, you know, suffer too severely, not more than they already had, and I felt like the, 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 the type of lord I wanted to be, right? Seeing my vassal was in trouble, maybe he got a little too ambitious, and we roll in to protect him and our people in the, uh, in, in the Marrakech Emirate. Sorry, the, the Abdullahid, uh, Sultanate. There we go. They've, they've renamed it after themselves. 
how pretentious I say as uh, as I take control of the Idrisid Empire. Um, but yeah, so we're at war with Italy. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, they're very kind of they're pitiful, honestly. They are pitiful, so this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and then beyond that, we'll probably declare war on Mazab as well as um, Africa. I don't know how they formed Africa with just like. These guys were in a pitiful state before they formed Africa, so I'm very curious as to what happened there. But nonetheless, not a problem. We'll be taking it for ourselves soon enough. Uh, and ultimately, again, just as a reminder, folks, the uh, the goal, the idea is... Which one is the shortcut for the Empire? I keep forgetting Empire's... Oh, right, there we go. Uh, the, the goal is to form the Empire of Maghreb. Oh, Nisar, you headed out? Well, thanks for dropping by, buddy. Glad you can make it for a little bit. Do have yourself a wonderful rest of the day. Um, but yeah, so Maghreb is the target over here, and we have 33 of the required 72 counties. Uh, so there's still a bit of work to do. And uh, obviously it's, it's it's a part of the series name. It's it's Maghrebi Madness. So it would only be right for us to uh, complete this conquest. Now I'm hoping that what we'll be able to do is, you know, take Italy, take Mazab, uh, probably have to war with Ghana. Uh, they have a fair bit of money they can recruit some mercenaries with. They're otherwise militarily, you know, similar to us, which is concerning as well, I suppose. Uh, these guys are no joke. I mean, last session I was kind of like laughing them off a little bit, but they're, they're actually no joke. Um, so you want to be careful when we eventually have to, rather inevitably have to go to war with uh, with Ghana. It's going to be an interesting time. Uh, and up in Francia as well, though we have managed to take southern Francia. Again, that is what happened last session. Uh, that was the, the primary focus of last session was securing all of the Iberian Peninsula. There was that one last Frankish hold down over here, and then, of course, southern Francia as well. But unfortunately, when we went to give our best friend uh, Mikhail here the kingdom of Aquitaine, it turned out that it still belongs to this guy over here, King Benoit of Aquitaine, who still holds a lot of land up over here. We are not able to use Serpent right now because he is currently in a war, but it's definitely something we want to do. We want to... Uh, we want to usurp this title, give it to our best friend, and hopefully this war will come to an end soon. He seems to be failing it rather spectacularly. Well, Aquitaine's actually split in twain. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not sorry. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I don't know if I'd be able to um, usurp it. I vaguely remember earlier it was saying um that uh that we can't usurp it because he's of a different faith or something like that or was that just for the empire title it slips my mind now uh yeah since uh since emperor guillaume of francia considers your faith to be hostile or worse he cannot hold any de jure land in the title i wonder if that's going to conflict with us for aquitaine as well but we'll, we'll 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 check that out apart from that we went on the hudj as well arrived back alive so that's all good and our scheme against the byzantine emperor was thwarted by the thing that thwarts all of us. Basilius Cosmus died, literally four months away from our uh, fabricate plot scheme, you know, triggering, and so we lost that opportunity. But his uh, his 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 heir here, Basilius Callistos II, I believe, is our current target for a new hook, so we can try and. My hope is we get a strong hook out of it, though I believe that's very rare with Fabricate Hook. Uh, my, my hope is we get something out of it that we can marry our families together and build a, a strong alliance uh, with the, you know, Empire of Rum. Now, I don't know if if, uh, if folks over here called it Rum as well, but I know folks over here called it Rum. Uh, but uh, if we can do that, that would be very good because we're both extremely powerful. Uh, we would be a very powerful set of uh, allies. Uh, but failing that, we will welcome him to our court for a conversation by which i mean we will abduct him and we will release him on the condition that he sees the light and converts to our faith and that will make our collective future that much easier wow that i think covers everything that i need to cover as far as a recap is concerned um hopefully I think I've covered everything that's like important. Obviously, lots of little stuff here and there happened as well. But y'all let me know in the comments if you've caught something that you feel is more important and or, or re requires a mentioning as well. Uh, why does Frisia own half of Lombardy? Listen, Frisia once owned like everything that, that's Italy right now. Well, big chunk of what's Italy right now belonged to Frisia at one point. They got far. We dismantled them. Let's not forget three or four sessions ago now. Uh, we were at war with, I believe Frisia had declared the war upon us, uh, and we, we dismantled them and their strength by assassinating their uh, king. That was a couple of generations ago, though. That was a couple of generations ago. And uh, ooh, uh, he will not convert. He has landed. Oh, yeah, you're right. He will not. You're right. You're right. I should abduct one of his sons. Good point, Shazeb. Good point. Thanks for, for catching that early. Can't convert non-vassal landed rulers anymore.
anymore. Yes. Uh, what is the Grey Realm holding the Holy Land? Is that, you mean Syria? Oh, or do you mean the Sharafit? Actually, who's got, where is... This is Damascus. This is Jaffa. There's Jerusalem. Yeah. I was like, I know it's here-ish. I couldn't pinpoint it. Jerusalem belongs to the Sharafid Malekit. Catholic. Mashriki. Okay, fair enough. Still still belongs to the Catholics. We're gonna have to uh gonna have to fix that. Sandu, you're from Frizzy. I saw you earlier say as well. Salam alaikum. Well, a walaikum salam and welcome to the live stream. Frieza's fall was so well played. Yeah, still very happy about that. I'd be afraid that your main empire title, older one, Hispania, will go to your heir, while your newer one will go to your second son. Yes, Seraxis, that is likely what will happen, but I'm not too bummed about that. Well, here's the thing, right? The Empire of Maghreb doesn't yet exist as a title. Uh, and we no longer, as of a couple of sessions ago, we no longer have... Um, confederate partition and what that means is unless we make the title of the empire of maghreb uh it won't be given to anybody else it will stay well it, it won't exist uh but in our minds and hearts now i don't mind if you know our family starts splitting up their their holdings a little bit uh, it'd be interesting, it'd be a little different from what we've been attempting so far. Uh, you know, the, the idea being that I would like to see my family as a whole succeed, just like my great-grandfather, right, who was a family man, let's not forget. Uh, it it it's kinda, it kind of calls back to that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, a, a Maghreb kingdom title is fine. E uh, da -da -da, let me see here, kingdom's I, yeah. We don't, don't we already have? Yeah, yeah, the kingdom of Maghreb already belongs to Sultan Abdullah. We already we already have uh, that kingdom title under our belt, but it's the the, the empire that I, that I desire. Uh, so we'll we'll make that decision when we come there. It's it's not going to happen in a, in the next five minutes or so, uh, but we'll we'll get to it when when the time comes. Now, what is this? A ransom request? No, <laughs> requesting divorce. Okay, Natalie. Natalie remembers. Yeah, man, that was that was fun. That was <laughs> that was an early example of Crusader Kings at its uh, finest? Question mark. It's confusing when you get titles with the same name, but different tier. Yes, I do not disagree. Uh, primogeniture is ideal. Yeah, I mean, primogeniture is not going to be for a while. Uh, just to touch on, because we are the culture head, just want to touch on this as well. Uh, I believe at present we are being exposed to Mott's. Is that S silent? Mott's? Because it's Mott and Bailey, but when you add the S in, the word sounds weird. Uh, but we're being exposed to that. We'll discover this in about three years' time. Cool. Not something I would have chased, if I'm completely honest, but we're getting it. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, but we are currently um, fascinated by household soldiers, which will actually take 21 years. Yikes. 21 years. That is a long, long time. I mean, we're young, though. We're, we are 32. So we'll live to see household soldiers get done. I really wish we had higher learning. Uh, in fact, our heir here, al Qasim. His learning's about the same. This man is good. I can't wait until he takes over. Look at this man. 17, 15, 12. He's been raised right. Plus, he's a genius, right? So, that, that obviously goes a long way. And he's uh, 15. So, we'll see how, how things turn around when, uh, when, uh, when he hits adulthood. Impatient, just like his father. Brave, diligent, just like his father. Good stuff, good stuff. Excited for the next generation, but let's not... Let's not jinx ourselves it's already episode 13 right youtube sarko you didn't miss much buddy just doing a quick uh, catch up recap so we all know uh what's uh you know what's going on in case anybody missed anything sad thing about 867 is that you have so much cultural growth that you have to do yeah it's a weird thing seraxis because i like it and i also like it's great and interesting i find it very compelling because things can really diverge uh but it's also it takes so long to research anything it's 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 so important to remember how much of a like a long game Crusader Kings can be if you want it to be. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, you get you can get a, a learning wife and set her to help. That's true, actually. What is my current wife doing for me here? Oh, you know stewardship. Ah, uh, money, money, money does make the world go around. Like, do we have a learning wife already? Let's see, ten. That would be a plus five for us. And you were not married to you yet. I, I do have another slot available as well for a spouse, but there are no powerful... Ooh, scaly. There are no powerful alliances available last I checked, right? Yeah, no powerful alliances or anything available. Uh, would like to maybe keep a slot free for a... Uh, for a... Uh, you know, potential alliance with the Byzantine Empire for myself rather than a son of mine. And we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. Might have to be... Yeah, might have to be a son of mine to bring a, a daughter... Uh, over or something. The trouble... Uh, 
Yeah, it's going to be a really long, long play, isn't it? Because we won't be able to convert him, as you said. It's going to be interesting, because it's going to be... He's going to have a son. Oh, hello. I guess one of his brothers... ...could be our target instead. And if we try to eliminate Basilius Callistos II... Because he's 21, he has a long way to go before he, you know, croaks. So if we want to enact this uh, play of three acts of its own, really... Uh, we might have to get to work on Prince Caserios here. I will see. We'll see what happens after this hook has been fabricated. Just because uh, I still want to fabricate that hook. I, I don't think it'll be enough to, to make a marriage happen, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it out, right? We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Uh, yes, good point, Sirax, as well. Yeah, I, I'm going to avoid a marriage for now. I don't think I need to rush learning just right away. Uh, because, I mean, that money-making is also quite nice. Now, what's this divorce on the topic of marriage? My dear nephew... Uh, this is not the same one as last time, if I'm not mistaken. My marriage to Shaika Abda is clearly not blessed by Allah. Will you grant me a divorce? I don't think it's the same guy, is it? Um, let's see. Eager reveler, trusting, fickle. Ugh. He's he's showing that fickleness, isn't he? Just a little bit. Uh, 56. You know, it might actually be the same guy. I remember thinking, you're, you're old, just live off your last few days. Or as some of you put it, that doesn't seem like a me problem. Um, she's 62. Buddy, this marriage is already almost over. Now, he is my uncle. He is in charge of the sheikdom of Gurb. Oh, what are the chances? Uh, this guy's learning. Now, that's, that's, he's a learned man. Listen, learn to deal with it. Just a few years left, at most, perhaps. I, I do think it's the same people. His beard is glorious. You might be able to reason with him, but his crown is golden and audacious, so proceed with care. Oh, you're talking about uh, you're talking about uh, the Byzantine Empire, I see. <laughs> I was like, this guy doesn't have a crown or a cape. He's worthless to me. Nah, he's family. He gets a pass. No, unfortunately, I will be declining his request over here. Um, I will be declining his request. Just a few years left to go, right? Just live your waning years in peace, old man. Come on now. Uh, and I think we're good to continue our conquest of uh, I I Italy, Africa. I, I, what would like? How would you refer to uh, Italian, Italian North Africa? I suppose, yeah, Carthage, even. Well, you know, Rome, I guess technically. But listen, let's let's get to work over here. I believe this army is. I, I believe we've dealt with all their armies in the area. I think I just have to kind of push and conquer. I think that's what we were doing first: is uh, just cleaning up all the. Uh, the, the, the enemy armies that had made their way down over here so we could conquer uh, in peace, so to speak. Time to hit play and, uh, yeah, get this uh, party started, as it were. A couple of issues to deal with. I do have some prisoners that can be ransomed. No! Dude! Don't convert to Catalan. Convert to... <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our council here. You are... You are promoting culture in the Sheikdom of Bordeaux. The plan there was that Bordeaux will be of the appropriate culture, and that way when we form the Kingdom of Aquitaine, its ruler will hopefully take on the uh, the appropriate culture, you know, Maghrebi, and then uh, and then spread it to all of his uh, uh, realm. But we'll see how that goes. Now, piety I've been trying to increase as well. We're already Paragon of Virtue. I'm going to wait until piety reaches 2,000 so we can declare a holy war if and when necessary. A holy war for a kingdom, I mean. I believe that needs 2,000... Um, 2,000... Uh, uh, piety, uh, and then we're going to move on to uh, converting faith in some of these counties as well. I think it would be uh, I think it'd be a good idea to, 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 to do that a little bit. Now, this guy's also a learned man. Holy goddamn hell. Uh, that's kind of wild. Um, okay, we're all good here. I think you are supporting schemes. You know what I could do? Let me see. How much of a difference does it actually make? If we look at intrigue over here, 90-95. It's a personal scheme, isn't it? Uh, if I turn to disrupt schemes, 84-94. Not terrible. I could switch them over closer to the end. I don't need to support right now. Uh, 15 months it'll take. Council. 15 months it'll still take. Okay, in that case, you know, go ahead and find secrets uh, up over here. In the court of Basilius Callistos II. Go ahead and find secrets over here. See if there's, you know, something we can blackmail him for rather than fabricate a hook that might be a little bit faster, in fact. So, you know. Italy and North Africa, yeah, a little a little familiar of, of, of a story, isn't it? A little familiar of a story. All right, let's, uh, yeah, hopefully these guys stop converting to things that aren't uh, Maghrebi. What's the deal over here? This is a visual thing that I hope, uh, it, it, I mean, it's, it's just because the, uh, the numbers overlap, right? We, we, we're over here. 
we're over here, we're safe. Let's go ahead and get to work. There's the barony up over here. Uh, supplies are dropping, but we're not low on them. Let's actually split you guys in half. Send the other half up to here. Conquer all this quickly. That'll be an easy battle. Not going to suffer any attrition crossing over. Yeah, looks like we're good. Yeah, we'll, we'll conquer all this. That should be quick enough. And then we'll keep an eye out for any other armies that are coming through that need to be crushed as well. My best CK3 playthrough was when I made the uh, Roman Empire and took most of Europe and was the only ruler together with Francia that I almost eliminated. But then it was 1400, sadly. Oh, Sander, that sounds like a like a fun uh, fun trip. <laughs> Prince Faran created another... How many cadet branches do we have? In fact, we have 254 living members and 20 houses. Yikes. <gasps> Yo, what? Abdullah, Abdullahid has passed away. Died from his wounds. Damn, this is the guy who was in charge of the Abdullahid uh, Emirate over here. Or Sultanate, sorry. He was the man that declared this war uh, against Italy that I that I stepped in to save. But it seems the war had already taken its toll on our uncle here. Damn, man, that's unfortunate. Um, but he's... He was old, too. Living his waning days. He was severely injured. F's in chat for Uncle Abdullah. He was, he was doing right by uh, by the family. He was pushing hard for this expansion. But what has happened to his realm on his passing? What has happened to his realm? The Sultanate of Maghreb has formed, and the Abdullahid Sultanate is up over here instead. Gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, they all still serve me. They all still serve me, but... Uh, it's always sad to see a strong, uh, strong thing get broken. By the way, Nicholas Kemper, thank you very much for subscribing, buddy. I did catch that earlier. I hope you're uh, enjoying the show. And uh, Engala, thank you for subscribing as well. No, uh, uh, looking at my notifications over here. Uh, that was from a couple days ago. It was Cam1920. Thank you for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the show as well. Uh, if you are, you know what to do. And, and folks, if you're enjoying the show in general, whether you just subscribed or not, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know that you want to see more live streaming and more Crusader Kings 3 on the channel in general. Um, Makes me, yeah, helps me make decisions for the channel. And yeah, in a way, it's good that it's split, but uh, like I've said a couple of times before as well, I like having some powerful vassals because powerful vassals uh, will make moves. Never forget, never forget the Jetabid uh, Emirate that helped us conquer southern uh, Iberia. Like, th those guys did you know, very well for us. Uh, and and, uh, and our uncle was trying to do the same over here. But you can only have that if your vassals are powerful enough to make those kinds of moves. Because if they're not, they'll just, it'll just be infighting otherwise. Maghreb right now, I mean, they might be... Oh, you know what? They might be strong enough to uh, to grab some of Mazab or even Thua if they feel so inclined. Um, we'll see. We'll see what he does. Thankfully, he does like us. He's also actually quite a good ruler. His high stewardship is going to be helpful for us. Um, so I, I guess I can't complain too much. Ooh, one-eyed. Wounded. Take care of yourself, man. Quick, too. Quick, too. Wow, what's up, YouTube Sarko? <laughs> why are we Why are we yelling at me? Why are we uh, yelling obscenities at me? Um, pineapples on... Oh, I'm not going to read that out loud. Chat will erupt a flame. Attacking Italians with pineapples... Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> I missed something here. I missed something here. Dale, glad you can make it, buddy. How's it going? Oh, that's too bad. Now, our alliance here has been invalidated, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll see what needs to be done there. We are missing a counselor as well now. A new chancellor is a must. Prince Farhan, pretty good guy. Not a powerful vassal, but our powerful vassals are mostly being kept in check as well. Mostly. Go ahead and assign you, buddy. Deal with uh, domestic affairs. <gasps> al Qasim comes of age. With his coming of age, my tuition of al Qasim is at an end. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards administration, such as al Qasim, can come to truly understand it. Not content with understanding the flow of wealth and people, he seems capable of predicting it, as if by instinct. He always finds new ways of profiting off it, too. Malika al Muaz Mahalama's contribution towards al Qasim's education cannot go unmentioned. Her guidance has helped the child reach further than I could have alone. Our lovely wife, who had passed away last session as well, Halima, or, or last session or two sessions ago now. It's all blending together, folks. It's all blending together. He is Midas Touched. Wow. Nice. Honestly, pretty happy with that end result. They grow up fast. Pretty happy with that end result. Now, I could arrange his marriage right off the bat with somebody 
who will complement him. Get him someone with high learning so that our... Uh, yeah, that is an heir, isn't it? That is quite the heir. Uh, but yeah, if we get him someone with high learning... I'm trying to figure out. See, because he's got genius. It wouldn't be a terrible idea to focus on inheritable traits and high learning. This is not... Oh, she's old, though. She's old, unfortunately. Jamila over here. Hale. Decent learning. I wouldn't want to go lower than 10. And, and again, he'll be able to have multiple spouses as well when the time comes, right? Uh, but for starters, who's his heir going to be? Who's my grand heir going to be, right? Uh, vengeful, cynical, and craven. Uh, not the best traits, but not the worst thing. Ooh, robust down over here. Better than Hale. About to come of age. So they're pretty close in terms of age as well. So that's good. Learning of 10, though. I mean, uh, do I really have to... We really want to focus on that. Her education focus is learning. She would be, she would be a good one to uh, to pick up. And that way we would have um, genius and robust in our bloodline, right? Yeah, Kevin, that's what I'm thinking as well. That's what I'm thinking as well. I mean, pineapple is delicious, by the way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love pineapple. Pineapple and chicken. I have not had that. I will. I will have to try that. <laughs> I have not tried that. Um, yeah, I say. I say we uh, we arrange this marriage. Tao has been Kafaja Daulatid. Has some claims that we won't be able to push. She's Baranis. And she's Ashari. She might be, you know, she might be worth getting. Yeah, let's go for it. You know, I say we go for it. Uh, pick you up over here. Make sure it is not a matrilineal marriage. Chance of children is medium. There's a chance that these will get inherited. If we're very lucky, both will get inherited. That would be great, if we're very lucky. Um, so let's go ahead and send that proposal. Yeah, let's go ahead and send that proposal. Again, it's for now, it's just a uh, uh, betrothal, right? For now, it's just a betrothal. What do we have over here? al Kasim can marry. Yeah, we're working on that. Uh, too many held duchies. We're going to have to fix that soon as well. It's hurting our relations a bit, so I do want to take care of that. Low control in counties. I really ought to look at this. I really ought to look at this. I mean, control will grow naturally as well, of course, over time very slowly. Our marshal has been so busy um, training our commanders, but it might not be a bad idea to have him improve control instead. Now, what is this? I uh, accept your betrothal pr proposition. Good stuff. Excellent. Yeah, seems to be, Sakyat. Seems to be. <laughs> Anyone got any recommendations on who to play? Just Elliot, I do have a video about 10 great starts uh, on the channel. Uh, I stand by those. There's some really great options. And I, I try to cover sort of across the, the playable world various options from uh, the Indian subcontinent all the way to, uh, you know, the person we started as um, and even further north. So I would suggest checking that out if you're looking for some suggestions. Uh, now, let's see. If we get you to increase control at any one of these. Let, let's. I'm just, just doing a quick check over here. Just doing a quick check to see how long it would actually take. Seven years. That just doesn't seem worthwhile, I guess, you know? This doesn't seem worthwhile. Like, yeah, it's a struggle, but it'll improve over time. We can hope our vassals will... Oh, I guess this belongs to me. That's why it's letting me know. Ugh. What do y'all think? I mean, I feel like um, I feel like improving our, our soldiers and, and commanders is helping more in the long run. Control increases naturally. Anyway, seven years is a long time. Again, I can do it temporarily so that it, you know, improves a little bit and then, um... Ooh, it improves a little bit and then uh, we, we reassign him. That's also an option as well, of course. Let's take a look at some of these prisoners here. Count Clotaire of Savoy. Ooh, that could be interesting. Savoy. How much of it? Oh, okay, just this tiny little piece over here. Again, sending people out with some hooks is not a terrible idea. Orion of... You've got a small holding in Italy. That's not really going to do much for me. And what about Gilles II, Upper Burgundy? He's an interesting one, isn't he? He's an interesting one. Easy, easy money. Easy money. But I wonder if there are other uses for him. Before he dies, he's 52. The man's old. I should really do something about that. I might just ransom him off. Um, it's not like I can... Let's see. If I uh, negotiate your release, I can't demand his conversion because he's landed. 
a weak hook. It'll go away in 10 years. I mean, he's not going to make it to 10 years. At most, I can use it to, um, to, uh, help me assassinate King Andre here. But, we don't have a truce with him or anything because the person that I warred with already died last session. So, I, I feel like, I feel like almost just le letting him go and, and make me 100 gold is, is not a terrible idea. You know? Yeah, let's ransom him off. Not much else to gain out of him. For a hundred? Tempting. Tempting, but a weak hook is pointless. Gold is the best reward. Let's go for it. hundred gold is not bad. Let's do that. Let's do that for the others as well, I think. There's not much to use them for. Hopefully we'll eventually get some more uh, valuable... Um, yeah, gold. We'll, we'll hopefully get some more valuable prisoners soon that we can have some more interesting, you know diplomacy fun with. Uh, that should be fun. It's also called Black Gold, Ricky Cool. <laughs> Oil is called Black Gold as well, yeah. Both. Both. Um, da -da 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 -da. Everything over here is fine. Otherwise, yeah, we're good. Alright. <laughs> let's, uh, let, let's, let's end this war, shall we? There we go. These guys are all leaving. Good stuff. Leaving. It's a funny way to put it. Ah, yes, they've left your prison. Yeah, sure. A cousin was slain in battle as well now. Oh, what war are you fighting, cousin? It's, a, it's an internal war. It's a vassal war. Yeah, low, this is the thing about low control, is that it causes these troubles as well. Maybe it would be worth... Uh, maybe it would be worth um, investing in increasing control a little bit. Ugh. We've done decent to improve our, our, our knights and whatnot. It's not a terrible idea. Fine, fine game. Have it your way. Make me do what's right. Go ahead and send you out over here. Let's get to it. Just for a little bit. Not not to 100, but for a little bit. What's my goal as far as perk developments? Well, we are working uh, right now on our um, August line as far as our perks are concerned. Greetings, my modest liege. In my work at the court of Basilius Callistus, I have failed to find any secrets his Ferris Comitas might possess. However, the truth does not have to stop us. It would be simple to make sure that Comitas suddenly did have secrets he would not want to get out. Comitas. He's not anyone of any, like, real importance. There's no point in making a, uh... There's no point in making a, uh... A hook on him. I would rather... Let it be. It'll improve his opinion of me. I don't know how much of a difference I'll make either. Let it be, and uh, continue looking for secrets. I want, I want secrets on uh, f uh, uh, about Basilius himself. That's what I really want. Yeah. Leave it be. We don't need to spend that money on uh, on a, even a strong hook on Comitas. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. Irrelevant. Keep seeking those secrets, though. Want to make sure that you are still... Yeah, finding secrets. I wish I could target a specific person, but obviously that would make it too powerful. <laughs> I understand why that's not the, uh, the case. Uh... Fazit Ali Zakir just joined just now, going back to see from the start. Sounds good, buddy. You can probably watch it at two times speed. I mean, like, the first ten or so minutes of it is always uh, recap, uh, if not more. <laughs> uh, though you've probably already gone back to the beginning now, and so you're not hearing my message to you. Uh, yeah, unless, unless Natalie P. Good point. Unless from the start means from the start start. Yeah, it is 40 plus hours, isn't it? Yeah, I saw y'all doing the, uh, the math earlier. It's, it's it's been a fun forty plus hours though. I, I I gotta say I've enjoyed the uh, the journey we've been on. Now this is an interesting surprise here. You will probably lose. It says. Really. Hmm. I might want to return to uh, home territory over here, resupply because that's obviously gonna hurt us otherwise. Do we have enough? Hold on. Yeah, there is enough supply over here. We'll wait for these guys to come closer, and then we'll we'll pincer them or something. Use both of our armies. Just overwhelm them. Just overwhelm them. Yeah, it's it's weird to do the math sometimes, Jazzy B. It's weird to do the math sometimes on especially those longer running series, right? Finish finding secrets. We already saw that prisoners taken in siege. Count Ugo's wife. I'm sure, we can. Oh, hello. I'm sure that we could. Uh, Actually, she might be worth a hook on, because, uh, I mean, who is Count Ugo? 
Oh, he's going to be a nobody soon. Yeah, he's going to be a nobody soon. So you know what? Might as well ransom you right now. Get whatever money we can before he <laughs> loses everything. Because of us. Okay, good stuff. And we got the loot from here as well. I might actually go uh, raiding Italy proper as well. Um, because uh, there's some valuable prisoners to be had. There's some valuable, well, gold to be had as well, I'm sure. I will find the places with the most loot, I think, and start... Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Like, a nice 20, over, 20, 22 over here. 20, yep. Yeah. Uh, up over here, I'm sure there's some good money to be made. I'm sure there's some great money to be made, actually. Just gotta find the right spots. Hmm. There we go. Well, this is a city. Surely, surely there's some uh, some rich spots. In there we go. Look at that. 29 gold. Yeah, so we'll probably go raiding Italy proper uh, soon-ish. This guy's coming up over here, I assume. The siege is almost done. Like I said, we'll push in afterwards. Um, will I probably start an Will I start an Indian campaign anytime soon? Yeah, that is that is at present my plan for the next uh, live stream let's play I do for um, for Crusader Kings. After this one is done, uh, I think I think I'm not. It's not set in stone yet, but I think that's what I'll do. Uh, I feel like the uh, subcontinent doesn't get much coverage. It is a fun area to play, uh, so it should be a, a uh, it should be a good time. I think. Uh, but I'm curious what chat thinks, actually. Would you guys be interested in a Indian subcontinent playthrough uh, after this one is done or something else? Uh, I'm still open. Like I said, it's not set in stone just quite yet. Liz J, thank you very much for joining in as our latest channel member. A new knight to join the Knight's Elite as a warden, no less. Drop those flags as Natalie has done. Drop those E's as Saketh has come through. A warm, warm welcome, please. Uh, to Liz J. Thank you very much for that kind of support. It really does mean a lot. It really does help the channel significantly. Um, and I appreciate it greatly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my vassal, Shake Guy, probably actually Shake Guy, right? <laughs> has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. He's testing my limits. The others are sure to follow. Unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Ah, good stuff. I mean, we are, we are diplo uh, like diplomacy focused, right? This plays into that uh, very nicely. Yeah, Punjab would be fun. Uh, I would probably go with Bengal. Gotta, gotta be the uh, Bengal tiger if I'm gonna go Indian subcontinent. So I'll probably play as a, uh, uh, Palla or Pala uh, is most likely what we're gonna do. And probably like it'll probably be a, a like try to become Chakravarti and try to become uh, Lord of the Ganga is 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 gonna be the core goal and then form. Uh, India. The other fun thing that I like to do in every, uh, <laughs> or try to do in every um, paradox game is reverse colonization. So we would start as uh, Palla and then and then try to uh, to take the uh, the Isles up over here. That would be the long play with that one. So um, that would be that would be interesting. Bengali madness sounds good too. B Bengali Babu. Something like that. We'll, we'll find a name for it. But that's that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Um, but yes, let's see. Forgetting to invite him leaves him in the dark. That sounds rude. All problems will be blamed on him, okay? A subtle threat of violence will put an end to this. Or how dare you challenge your Malik al-Muazm. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, classified. That sounds interesting, too. That does sound interesting. Seven rivers. Seven rivers. We've got the five with, you know that flow through Punjab. Then we've got the Ganga and the Yamuna? Is the Brahmaputra in, uh, in CK3? I haven't, checked. I haven't looked at the map in a while, actually. In, uh, in CK3, I mean. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Forgetting him. Okay, everything will gain us some diplomacy lifestyle. Okay, great. Do, this is the most non-diplomatic thing. This is just like an open threat, so... Not gonna, not gonna do that. Uh, a subtle threat of violence. Well, let's see. We are impatient, we're diligent, and we're humble. Hmm. We cook. There's a chance that <laughs> there's a chance that opinion improves or it goes down at the cost of uh, at the cost of uh, prestige if he outwits us. Oh, seven holy sites. Gotcha. Classified. Gotcha, gotcha. No worries. Um, 
I, I guess the outcomes are all the same, so it's just entirely a matter of uh, roleplay. Well, forgetting, even pretending to forget him does not suit us. We're supposed to put ourselves forward as a, uh, as a diligent ruler, right? So we won't forget him. Uh, but we just, you know, pin some of the problems on him. <laughs> Pet tiger. Yeah, one can dream, Saketh. One can dream. All problems will be blamed on him. Lost opinion. He thinks I am cruel. I'm not cruel. You're just a hit on my butt. All right, let's go ahead and move you into position over here. We want to make sure we uh, dive in. Reinforcements arrive as soon as this uh, battle actually begins. Yeah, <laughs> a mod for a pet tiger. Yeah, Natalie, good good point. If we get a pet cat. I haven't had that happen yet. I've not yet seen... Oh, look at that surrender. I've not yet seen the uh, pet, um, pet cat event, which is wild to think about. Oh, Life of Rose Angel. Sorry, I just saw you mention. I think forget to invite him. Uh, I was thinking that, but yeah, I think it like it plays against uh, our uh, presentation of of us being a diligent uh, Malik al Muazzam, right? So we should uh, we should be careful about uh, changing what people think of us. Your glory is widely known. New level of fame. We are the living legend. That's wild. In fact, hold on a second. How many knights we can have? Eleven Ferris now. And quite a few of these guys are pretty solid. I mean, we've got some really, really great Ferris. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Good stuff. Yeah. Topped up prestige. Kind of ridiculous, isn't it? I need to start spending some of it. Doing something with it. Finished finding secrets on who? Helius. Just a member of his court. Come on, man. Come on, man. Work a little bit harder. Work a little bit smarter. We can just be friends. Focus on the man in charge. <laughs> Life of Rose Angel. Yeah, that's so true. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, forgetting about him is just like, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, uh, sorry you missed my birthday party. I uh, I meant to invite you, but uh, but I forgot about you. Like I forgot about sending these reinforcements in. Come on, hurry it up here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is bad. This is bad. I should, uh, shouldn't have looked at chat. <laughs> Paying the price there. The existence of my plot to fabricate a hook on Basilius Callistos has been discovered. While my involvement is not yet known, this will make it a lot more difficult to bring my plans to fruition. Yikes. We can only hope for uh, some successful events to, uh, to help us out over here. That, what are the chances? The secrecy, was it still at 90 or, or something percent? Was it or like 84% or something? What are the chances? I guess 16%, but curses. Come on now, come on now, roll in. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Come on. Ah, uh, just a little too late here. Oh, wow, in the nick of time. In the nick of time. Turn around. Yeah, I'm joking, Natalie, obviously. Cool. <laughs> I was I was playing up my character, blaming everything on somebody else. Okay, wow, that, uh, that was close. That could have been really bad. That could have been really bad. Beautiful. Victory is ours. Entirely intentional. You know, that kind of tension makes a... Uh, a live stream so much more interesting I find so it was uh, yeah 100% entirely intentional <laughs> let's continue our conquest over here there's that betrothal completed excellent she has come of age and she is an astute intellectual perfect not excellent but good enough I would say good enough robust intelligent well you know what I mean by intelligent learned while we are as Midas touched and genius they they will make some great kids they will make some Fantastic children. Uh, now, up over here, what do we want to do? I think, you know what? I think it's important that we uh, resupply a little bit. We are um, in desperate need of supply, at least for that army, that large one. This one can go on down to the barony here to conquer, and then we'll have the other one come through to support. And the war is going pretty well. We have... It, it, the war score is just going to tick upwards at this point. Um, go ahead and ransom you. Well, actually, the war score is probably affected by... No, it's not. So let's go ahead and ransom this guy. Get that money. And continue our conquest over here. Sorry, was that uh, classified? Or are we just quoting how often I like to say huge tracts of land? <laughs> I do say that a lot, don't I? Alright, let's go ahead and get these supplies. Still dropping over here? I thought we were uh, okay with the supply limit here. Hang on a second, buddy. 4160? Oh, no, we are not. 
I guess reinforcements have arrived or uh, troops have replenished a little bit. Let's move up over here. Resupply over here. We're getting a little bit further than I would like from this army, but we should be okay. We'll keep an eye out. Uh, greetings, my modest liege. His guest, Romanos. His guest, not even... Come on, man. <laughs> a hook isn't worth anything here. He's not like it's worth uh, bringing him into my court or anything like that. Be friends. Continue finding those secrets. God. Soul Scarlet, that is something I've been thinking about as well. Uh, that would be fun. That would be a fun one to do. It's uh, it's one of my um, top, like, maybes as, a, as another live stream uh, 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 play. To the impotent Malik al-Muazzam Ismail Ababa. We've been burdened by your blah, 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 blah taxes. Okay, let's see. Where are you from? These guys are... Peasant Revolt. They're not going to tell me from where. I mean, I could try and find... I'm just trying to figure out how much uh, support they're going to have. Ah, it doesn't really matter, does it? We just have to crush them. A peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Problem is, we're in the middle of a war. I don't know how many um, soldiers I can assign to dealing with this if it's all the way up over here. Peasant's lot is to serve. Rally the troops. They're all the way up here, eh? A couple up there. We don't need that many soldiers for this. Hmm. You know what? You know what? Let's send these 3,000 up over here. Let's send these 3,000 up over here. Want to make sure they're not freshly disembarked when they... Uh... Okay, let's not go that way, please. Go up this way. Take to the water. And go up over here. And this 4,500 can hopefully dance around and uh, keep things in check down over here. Bit unfortunate, but I don't think I have any more soldiers I can recruit. I don't think I have any more... Oh, you know what? I actually... Let me check. Before I commit. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. <laughs> That's not gonna be the trick. 18 days left. Let's see, let's see how many gather. Uh, 328, probably gonna be like 500 or so. Okay, you know what, 500. We got three knights among them. Don't know if that's going to be enough. 700. Oh, maybe. You know what? Yeah. Wow. Who would have thought that our uh, remaining soldiers would be enough? Sorry, folks. Let's get some supplies. I don't know. I'm really nervous about this. Just being caught out of position. Let's get some supplies. And that way my pullback isn't an entire regret. Uh, Saketh, T is the answer. T is the answer to every question. Can you activate your holy order against the rebels? I believe they are already, yeah, being used by somebody else. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. Kevin Onox. So I enjoy uh, tea and coffee. Uh, tea is my preferred drink, but I was I was raised on tea, right? So that obviously uh, changes my opinion. But I feel like maybe it was like five, six, or seven years ago now. Uh, but it's very possible that I've developed an allergy to coffee, if you can imagine. So now when I drink coffee, I fall asleep almost instantaneously. So, yeah, just thought I'd share uh, and the mention of coffee and tea in the same spot there. Okay, these guys are coming through. Like, we, there is not enough supply basically anywhere over here. We're going to have to split this army into two. We're going to have to crush these guys up over here as well. Down over here. Not enough supply. Move you up to here. Malik al Muazzam Dua is pregnant. Good stuff. Holy order immediately hired by somebody else. I couldn't even see that they were free. Fair enough. Want to make sure they don't win this siege up here. We we'll also want to make sure that they don't uh, attack us over here and catch us in a rough spot. There we go. They're pulling back up over there. Go ahead, work on that siege. Basila. Ooh, the wife. Okay, well, this is this could be a valuable hook one way or another. Yeah, Ricky, cool. Welcome to the world of weird allergies, I guess. Really sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and see this one done. A strong hook on the wife is not a bad thing to have. Not a bad thing to have. I'm sure that'll have its uses. See it done. Make something up. Beautiful. Strong hook. Again, we can always use it for money as well. But, um... 
but I have bigger plans. Uh, if we, you use it, the thing about strong hooks is that they don't get completely used up. They'll come back, but it's 10 years before they do, if I recall correctly. And that's, I don't want to wait 10 years, right? Mia, how's it going? Hey, hey. How's it going? Uh, Basilius Callisto's sister and friend, Barbara, has been unusually forthcoming. Even knowing that I might not have entirely pure intentions for Callisto's, is more than willing to answer my questions. Okay, well, let's see. This thing, oh, success chances are pitiful. Pitiful. Many contacts helps with scheme power. That's not what I need. Familiar weakness is, is what we need. Does he have any particular weak spots I should know about? I don't know how successful that's going to be or how likely you are to see success there. Uh, we need to push into this siege over here, don't we? Well, let's let these guys kind of pull a little bit further, maybe. No, they're standing there to reinforce. All right, let's move. Move you as well. Hang on, wait until these guys get a little bit closer and then we'll move in, crush these guys. My aunt has been taken prisoner, I assume, by one of my... Yeah, it's a, it's a vassal war going on, unfortunately. Five years for a strong hook? Okay, thanks. I remember it is ten for some reason. So let's move in. Got to keep my eyes on this. Are you winning, son? I am indeed, Ava. How's it going, buddy? Glad you could join in on today's action. I would say we're winning. I would say we're winning. We're doing pretty well. <laughs> doing pretty well as the Idrisid Empire. All right, let's go ahead and send these guys forward as well. I doubt they're going to... Uh, cowards! Absolute cowards. Let's see if we can't catch them before they get away. Oh, looks like we will. Come on, get in there. Yes, good stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at this perk. Uh, so again, we're working down. It was asked earlier as well. Um, before I retreat this army by mistake. Uh, yeah, we're working towards the August trait over here. Um, so we're going to get Benevolent Intent. Sway Scheme Power Increase. It's not going to help us right away, but it'll help us soon enough. Inspiring Rule after that. I mean, this explains why our prestige is so high, right? Uh, we don't even need prestige anymore. True Ruler, though, should help us vassalize some people using Diplomacy, which is something we really want to try and do, right? Uh... Hopefully, I mean, the plus 25 can sometimes be insignificant, but at times it can be the exact opposite. Uh, writing history, I'm very, very excited to have an epic commission. Uh, it's a decision you can make to, I mean, you basically have a family epic written, which is fun, right? Uh, and then, uh, again, August itself is a, is a, is a it's not going to be super helpful for us because we already have all the prestige in the world, basically. It doesn't hurt, though, but the extra diplomacy will go a long way in, in playing our character up. Uh, so benevolent intent. The main focus over here is true ruler and writing history. After that, I can waffle a bit. But those are my my main focuses. Uh, they you you can use true ruler again. Oh, sorry, you can get someone to be your vassal even if they're not de jure or de jure or whatever the hell. Uh, your vassal. You just need to be able to be significantly more powerful than them or you know matching. Fit. There's all the other stuff that can outweigh the uh, rightful liege kind of a thing. Uh, I've done it like, I think twice in all the time I've played it. It's difficult. It ain't easy, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Alright, let's get this battle here done. Oh, it should be an easy win, even with the advantage not favoring us. I mean, this guy is actually... Oh, it's their king! Their king himself was being a coward. I mean, these guys managed to successfully cowardice. Wow! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I don't know if I'll be taking over the world, Miha. I, I think we'll, uh, uh, once we form the Empire of Maghreb, I think that's the uh, closing chapter of this epic, as it were. Uh, and then we move on to the uh, the next playthrough. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Well, so much for, you know, our, our tour of Italy. Because by the time we land on, on mainland Italy over here, uh, they're going to um, peace out. However... However, ransom him for a weak hook. He's 69 years old, eh? I have avenged the Battle of Tour. Yes, I have. Uh, that happened uh, last session. We are the Avenger. Okay, this is interesting. Now, this man is old. This man is old. Now, if I were to kill him, actually... Succession law is male preference house seniority. Well, that explains why there's an old king. Um, the money is good as well. The money is good. 200 gold is no joke. Um, yeah, V for victory indeed, Spindle. Indeed. Oh, man. Okay, let's see if we get a weak hook on him. 
Does he have any unmarried... He has this unmarried princess over here. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to execute him. There's no point in executing him or anything. Uh, unsubstantiable... Un, unsubs... Unsubstainable games. Sorry, that took me a second to read properly. Uh, I Because I'm already at war with Italy, um, once this war ends, there'll be a truce that lasts a fair bit of time. Uh, so I won't be able to... Um, I won't be able to declare war right away. But in theory, if I have someone in prison... I believe you have to I believe you have to imprison them after the war starts. I can't remember now. Uh is favor different from hook? No, no, no. So uh, uh it's it's favor is a type of weak hook. That's all it is. Uh weak hooks can be of different types, and favor is just one of the types. Ah, what use would it have? He's 69, he's not gonna live for that much longer. He has the one unmarried daughter over here, but he's not a very strong ally or anything like that. You know, he's like, he might be able to help me a little bit if, if we, um, we, uh, oh, what's the word? Go to war with, uh, Frankia again. But that alliance will break, right? Well, hmm. Yeah, because this guy's going to take over. What do y'all think, chat? You just take the money? It's unfortunate. Alternatively, we hold on to him. If, if we if we ransom him and take the money, then the war score goes back down, and it will give us an opportunity to conquer more of Italy and make more uh, make more money. How's the kid looking? Oh, kid's looking great. Life of Rose Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I assume. Oh, sorry. You mean you mean their kid? This princess? I mean, she's one, so not much. Our kid is looking amazing. Our kid's looking amazing. That guy's not gonna take over the house senior will. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, their seniority. I forgot to check that even. Seniority, so this guy will take over. He doesn't have any kids? Are you kidding me? Interesting. Interesting. Unlanded at 57, so who knows if he's even going to last that long. My other war? Oh yeah, you're right. The rebels. Damn. I did completely forget it. Go and chase these guys down. Up over here. Ooh. Chances are even. I don't like chances are even. Do I have any more soldiers I can raise over here? Get them to join up. Make this like 900 or so strong. I mean, they, they are numerous up over here. Let's not engage them just yet. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why... Do they? Does Italy start as house seniority? I would never. <laughs> I would never switch to house seniority because of that very reason. He's got death after death after death sometimes. Yeah, YouTube Soccer, that's a, that's a very long con. I don't think that's going to work, unfortunately. That's a very, very long con. Honestly, I think the money's, money's maybe the way to go. And yeah, they've got house seniority as well. So it doesn't... It's, it's not like it stays within the family. It, or, I mean, it stays within the dynasty, not the immediate family. You'll see that this primary heir is nowhere on this screen over here. He's not one of the children. He's not one of the siblings. He's of the same house. He's the oldest member of the same house. That's what uh, House Seniority does. We are diligent, you two, Sarko, but that wouldn't work. <laughs> now, I'm not going to kill him. There's no point in killing him. There's no point in killing him, Mia. Nothing to gain through, uh, through that execution. Apart from, you know, a little bit of dread. We have others to execute. He's he's a far more valuable token. I see we ransom him. Get the money, and then we can go and uh, conquer more lands. Get get some more of this uh, loot. Twenty cent. Like there's money to be made over here. I say we we ransom him off. Let's go for it. So unfortunate that he's that old. If he was younger, I might have gone for a favor because then we'd have more time to use it. So let's go ahead and and and, and ransom him off. You lucky man. You lucky old man. Alright, that's that done. These guys are numerous. We should be able to crush this army as well if we can catch them. And then we'll... I, I really need to split up and, and resupply over here. We're very low on supplies and pretty soon that's going to bite us in the butt. Alright, good stuff. This is unfortunate. 
can't believe I let them have these successes. They're going to have some successes up north over here as well. I thought I saw another... Oh, they must have come down and, and grouped up. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Not a problem. I was thinking about splitting them up, but they don't need to be split up. They're already so pitiful and weak, right? Like, I don't have to actually concern myself with that. Money, though. Money I have to concern myself with. Money we always have to concern ourselves with. We've got another 119 over here. Join up. These guys are reinforcing as well. And we can dive in and finish these guys off. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. We want to we wanna attack them before their siege is done, though, so we have the uh, defender advantages. Another Ferris over here captured as well. All right, this battle is done. All right. <laughs> no one place is going to be able to provide enough supply. We know this already. Uh, so we're going to have to go ahead and split these guys up. Move. 4,700. We're going to have to split you guys up as well. Move these guys. Oh my god. These lands are pretty horrendous, aren't they? Move you up to over here. Move these guys over to here. Move you down to here. And move you down to here. Resupply. Stock up. We'll continue the war. I mean, this war score is already 81%, so... I don't even know if we'll be able to, <laughs> to push up. Alright, let's see what's up over here. This guy, are you worth anything to me? Not really. So you ransom you as well? <laughs> okay, you're worth uh, an increase to my dread. Well, why not let's make that happen right now? Why not let's make that happen right now? He's not uh, particularly fantastic. Wounded already. Lovers, pox, I don't want any of that near me. Brave, humble, trust... Brave? This is one of the men that ran away from the battlefield. Brave, hardly. Yeah, he's not worth much to me. Burn him at the stake. Show the, um... Show the Italians that we mean business over here. Again, his faith allows us to do this without being a tyrant. Done. And that does help our dread a little bit. I need to up that before more factions form. Some of you will remember that there were a lot of factions forming trying to get one of my uncles to replace me on the throne. It's happened like two or three times. We've had to keep our dread up uh, for that exact purpose. For that exact purpose. With a tired yet blissful smile, Dua presents me with a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child? And what shall I call you? Nura. Don't we already have a Nura? I'm pretty sure we already have a Nura named after our mother. Who taught us very well. Who taught us very well. And because of whom we are, uh, you know, intelligent. But a different name, I think. Dua, name her after. You know, actually, I don't think... Uh, I don't think we have a child named Dua yet. And we have two children named after a former wife. We have Halima and we have Halim as well. Remember, Halima, our wife, passed away with the birth of Halim. Um... Let's go ahead and, and name this daughter after Dua so so our, our current wife doesn't feel left out or left behind. I've got, a, I've got a daughter named after my mother. I have a daughter and a son named after my previous wife. You know, if I was Dua, I'd be a little upset. So let's go ahead and name, uh, name you after, after your mother, Nura. Okay? <laughs> May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Oh, good. She's quick. So at least wise, perhaps not strong. All right, let's go ahead and roll in over here. I think we'll be okay. We want to make sure we arrive again before that siege ends. Chances are even. I don't like that. I don't like that. But if this doesn't work, we're going to have to send in the army. How long are we going to wait? <laughs> Such a duo. Oh, my lord. <laughs> yeah, these guys are all resupplying soon, hopefully. This is still occupied by a couple people, I think. Okay. You're executed, good stuff. Enemy combatants captured, yep, already dealt with that. Ransom accepted, yep, good stuff. Yeah, this is getting expensive, eh? It's getting expensive, hosting all these armies. Right, here's hoping for the best. I'm going to engage them before they win the siege. There it is. Keep an eye on this one. Reinforcements arriving shortly. Could have maybe swapped the commander out for someone better. Oh, looks like it happened automatically. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, this guy doesn't matter. We can be friends. Come on, come on. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. Come on, buddy. Ah. This is... This was a guaranteed loss. Anytime the game says uh, it's a maybe, it's almost a guaranteed loss, I find. Uh, okay, not a big deal. We, we saw this coming. Losing a counselor was not ideal. Raimundo. Not the Raimundo. No, not... <gasps> no. Old age. Okay, Raimundo was taken by age. 
that's fine. That's fine. I would be very upset if Raimundo was taken by, by this battle. But Farhan here died in this battle. Farhan was okay. He was he was our um he was our chancellor. Do drop your Fs for uh for Raimundo though. That guy was a great warrior, he was a great soldier, and he was a great uh marshal as well. He trained up so many of our knights. Because of him we have the knights we have, right? Uh, our Chancellor, though. Let's see. Sheikh Mina. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go ahead and assign you. We don't need to have a powerful vassal over here again. Most of our powerful vassals are in check, so I'm not worried about that. Ooh, interesting. Let's go ahead and assign you here, buddy. And for our Marshal, this is an important one. Oh, hello. She's 60. Yes, her time is almost here. My brother-in-law has got a decent um, Marshal as well. We could, we could give her this position for now, and then when she passes away, inevitably, um, give uh, my, my, my brother-in-law here that uh, role. Again, powerful vassals are in check, so don't have to worry about that. They all like me pretty much. This guy doesn't, but we'll deal with that afterwards. My heir, I'm pretty sure, is forbidden from fighting, but I will check. I will check. Let's go ahead and assign you. There's no reason not to. There's literally no reason not to. She's the, she's the most capable. All right, let's see. Um, just to make sure, my boy here. Oh, no, you know what? He is a Ferris with six prowess. Or bid. Do not be a fool. Okay. Good catch. Thank you. Yeah, I was, I was so certain that, was, uh, that he was too far down to, like, be worried about, but... You know, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Alright, what's up over here? You guys are good. You guys are good. We're all good down over here. Let's go ahead and send... And these rebels are... Annoying. Split you guys in half again. Which one do we send over? This half we'll send over. Just to mop things up over here. Shouldn't be that difficult. This is, quote-unquote, the worst we've done against uh, a peasant rebellion, but mainly because we've been distracted by the war down over here, obviously. Uh, Barcelona's under siege. Ooh. Ooh. The war is shifting to my lands over here. That's not ideal. Well, in that case, we can get a bit more aggressive down here. Move down here. Maybe try and draw their attention down towards us. You're topped up as well. You have a commander. You do not. We have to be very careful about that. Move you down to... That's oh, already being taken. Over here, right? There. Let's do that. Suffer a little bit of attrition. It's not the end of the world. I wonder now if I should send all these guys up over here to crush these fools. Or if I should send them... I don't want to send them too far away. Because if all these armies come together, we'll be in a touch of trouble, potentially. Groom to rule, meanwhile, has made Noor a better warrior the age of three and that actually reminds me i do believe i have some kids that need educating and stuff like that as well um no i don't want to bother with usurping that though hang on i need to check as well this is the thing that's throwing me off how long before i can oh hello seems the king of aquitaine no longer exists i think what happened is the war he was fighting came to an end i forget his name he will be a footnote in the history books but i think whatever happened with his war has removed him from the picture and now the title no longer exists kind of weird considering my war was for the kingdom title uh no big deal we just need 500 gold and we can actually make our best friend uh mikhail over here the uh the king of aquitaine Ooh, why has he earned the moniker the heartbreaker uh, i mean this might have something to do with that i suppose i mean both of these together probably have something to do with that but damn <laughs> Damn, okay, interesting. Alright, let's uh, let's get a move on over here. I'm gonna keep these two armies down over here. I want to see how they respond to my uh, moves over here. If they respond to my moves over here. These guys are gonna pull back and replenish a little bit. Yeah, we're okay. Just gotta stay focused on the war for a little bit. Letting myself get too uh, distracted. Leon is under siege. It's up over here, yeah. These guys. Who can take charge? No one worthwhile. Got reinforcements arriving. Get you guys to hop in over here. 
and then we'll we'll push up. They might actually get Leon as well, which is unfortunate. Not the end of the world. You are really not worth um, bringing in. Thank you. Greetings, my modest liege. With Maghrebi settlement and the installation of a new administration, the people of Bordeaux have fully embraced Maghrebi traditions. Great work, Ansaldo. Good job. So once again, when the Kingdom of Aquitaine or the Sultanate of Aquitaine is exists is exists is made, uh, we will already have Bordeaux as the right culture, and hopefully, well, actually, you know what? If I'm not mistaken, I should have checked this first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he's he's Michael is ba Basque. So he's going to have to convert to uh, Maghrebi, and then hopefully he will spread that Maghrebiness to, uh, to everybody in the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Title history. I guess he destroyed it. I guess Prince Benoit just destroyed it. Fair enough. 3rd of February last year. Task finished. His mother. Oh. Now, it's a little expensive to fabricate a hook. We actually can't afford it. Um, so, unfortunately... I don't think his mother would be worth all that much. Maintain friendship. And I actually need to check over here really quickly. Nine months until this scheme is ready to go. Nine months. How long will it take? Six months. Okay, so as soon as the next Find Secrets rotation is done, we're going to have him support my scheme, and we'll see if that goes anywhere. Siege of Barcelona lost. Damn, these guys work fast up over here. Fair enough, fair enough. Groom to Rule has given Iman here. More martial as well. Sure, I'll take it. A bunch of warrior kids coming through. A bunch of warrior kids coming through. And we should also take a look at this guy over here. Right now he is collecting taxes, which might not be a terrible idea considering our financial situation. How did that how do we come to this? We were making money just moments ago. <laughs> we're making lots of money just moments ago. Despite having our armies raised, you know? Uh, it's not not a big deal. Once these wars are done, we'll be fine. Spouse's skill improved. Hodna siege has been won. Excellent. That was fast. Move on up over here. I believe that's the castle. Yep. Go ahead and take that. These guys are still down here. I see these guys moving. Not sure exactly where just yet, but we do see them moving. And honestly, this war is almost done. This war is almost done, so we don't have to worry about this. We don't have to worry about that at all. Is there money to be made over here? 20 loot. That's not too bad. Down over here, we've got... Um, 17 loot. Sure, yeah, a little bit of money made. Might actually want to disband these two armies. Just to save on the uh, the money. A little risky to do it right now, because it'll be six months until they can be raised again, so I'll just wait until the war is done. These guys have arrived. Let's move. They're going to win this siege as well, unfortunately. Halama comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Halama the intricacies of warfare. I was naive. She has only developed a basic understanding of the subject but at least she has learned the essentials of managing an army. I can only hope that the rest will come with experience. Well, that's unfortunate. Animator, yes, Mondays and Tuesdays, every time, unless, uh, you know, there's an emergency or something's come up. Uh, I do throw updates on Twitter and in the Discord as well. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, link is in the description down below. And if you're not in our Discord, link is in the description down below. And also, now, in chat, as soon as PartyBot gets... There we go. That was faster than expected. Mike and something else coming in right away with a super chat over here. Hey, how's it going? Sorry I'm late. Class got me. I, I assume that's class got me dying. <laughs> Lol. Thank you very much for the super chat. I hope you're doing okay, buddy. What class was it? What's uh, what's kicking you around right now? I'm curious. Um, Halama, what's up with you? Oh, no. Or also, oh, yes. I mean, good for you, I suppose. But uh, oh, no, in terms of, of potential for uh, adultery and things like that. Sinful acts as far as our faith is concerned. Yeah, despite being intelligent, she wasn't able to pick up too much as far as fighting is concerned. Now, who do we marry you off to? Are there any powerful alliances to be made over here? Any powerful alliances? The Medellin Emirate. <laughs> that reminds me, tomorrow, folks, we are continuing our stream of uh, Cartel Tycoon. Just reading Medellin reminded me. Uh, obviously, a different Medellin, but... Uh, do uh, do join in for, for some hilarious empire building as far as uh, a drug empire is concerned, I suppose. Oh, and there we go. I that That's probably got me demonetized. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. An alliance with the um, Emirate of Mazab. It's too bad that I want to actually conquer them. That is too bad, isn't it? 
What else do we have? The Sultanate of Maghreb. We are not allied at present. Well, he's a powerful vassal, but no alliance. Might not be a bad idea. Great pox. I don't want to marry my daughter off to somebody with a great pox. We can give it to Prince Abdullah instead. Also quick. Might be worthwhile. I doubt we can make it matrilineal. <laughs> oh, we can. Okay, fa fair enough. Really? They're only slightly related. They're not very related. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a... Is ignore the game when it says this. It's okay. It's okay. Um, oh, okay. Let's see. I, I wonder if... I wonder if... This isn't a terrible idea. It's 10. So a little bit of an age gap. Good. She can keep him in check. Hopefully he can also keep her in check a little bit. I don't know. They're going to have lots of babies, maybe. Uh, and and the, the, the intelligent plus quick could be quite valuable. And the alliance itself, I mean, this doesn't matter. It's a matter of relations, right? We are a clan-type um, system, after all, so this matters a lot. Hmm. Oh, God, Mike, and something else. That's not good conditions to be doing class with. Yeah, Ledra, don't worry about this. Don't worry. It, it's in red because we can ignore it. That that's That's all. Don't worry. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's form that alliance. Um, they grow up so fast. Tough soldier is the trait she gained from that. It's, it's important to, to keep our vassals allied, right? Alliance formed. There it is. Excellent. Up over here. We're rolling in. Yeah, these guys will definitely win this before we can uh, hit them. Unfortunate. Not the end of the world. Let's, let's merge them over here and then strike. Hopefully on ideal ground. Hopefully on ideal ground. These guys are making their way down south. These sieges are almost done over here. We could crush them as they land, maybe get a valuable prisoner or two. Let's see if we have a better commander to assign over here. Sheikh Budimir. Ah, Sheikh Budimir. What a man. Where's this guy? Emir Rafiq ibn Lot. Leading another army. Rafiq. Rafiq, Rafiq, Rafiq. Not down here. Are you up over here? Or are you leading one of your own armies? Come on now. I meant the army. Why is my son in command over here? Sheikh Budimir is in charge. These guys have nobody. Okay, so I guess the other guy is... Um, the other guy is... Uh, leading an army of his own. Like, in a different war entirely. I gotta keep an eye on this. I gotta make sure my son doesn't keep... Uh, joining as a commander. Because even though we've forbidden him from being an, a, a ferris he, he can still uh, he can still become a commander if we don't pay attention that would have been bad that could have been bad could have been bad i think we'll be okay over here you'll probably win it says i think we'll be okay counselor yasir died as well man these guys are croaking oh no he was so good too emir agathonikos is also pretty good actually so it's not the end of the world athletic interesting elusive shadow Deceitful. The perfect man for the job. Three months left for this. What are we looking at? Four months for this. Gotta, gotta be quick on the draw when those secrets are found. Alright. And this war is done. I'm just hoping to uh, conquer these or complete these sieges and maybe get a valuable prisoner up over here and then we can end the war. That's what I'm thinking, Shazeb. If this, if this battle is looking bad, then we'll end it. Then we'll end it. Guys are rolling in first. Oh, look at that. Look at that cowardice. Valaya of Ganymede. Where is this? Oh. I read that as Ganymede first. Immediately got me thinking about um, the expanse. These cowards. Oh, there we go. Engage them. Come on now. Reinforcements need to arrive quickly here. Losing the upper hand. Basilios Kalistos has discovered that I am attempting to gain leverage over him in dishonest ways. I must do what I can to salvage my reputation. Oh, man. Five years before I can try this again. That's really too bad. Damn it. Now this, uh, this guy's gotta, this guy's gotta arrive here. One of our valiant soldiers has managed to wound the enemy knight. Wow. Another thing I don't often see. We should win this battle as soon as the reinforcements arrive. Right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. 
Nick of time. Oh, these guys might still win this. Uh, might be time to push for peace over here. Oh, but the siege is almost done. We could retreat, but that's dangerous. Oh, who, who is here? Severely injured Shake Fiddle is over here. My brother-in-law. Damn. This guy was going to be my next marshal. He's almost certainly going to die. That's surprising, actually. I was expecting this to go uh, much more favorably for us. Their king is back here. Oh, man, that is a valuable prisoner, isn't it? Another 200 gold. War reparations, think of it. I do have mots now. We can check what our next uh, exposure is. Probably still something back over here. Banis. 15 years. 15 years. Honestly, I'm tempted to make that my fascination as well. So it'll be done in 9 years, and then our exposure can start working up over here. But it just slows us down so much for more modern technologies. Ah, this loss will hurt. It's not the end of the world, though. This over here will be a victory. Okay. I should have uh, had uh, Budimir down over here. Okay, we'll win a couple of sieges. We'll crush that army afterwards. These guys will retreat. Hopefully not too many losses there. Uh, it's not terrible. Not not terrible. Seriously speaking, I'm not just uh, you know just saying that. It's not too, too bad. Should have checked who their commander was before I dove into that one. <laughs> okay, siege one down over here. Good stuff. Push up over here, reinforce. We're not going to let them take that land back. Not a chance. Go ahead and finish that siege as well. Move you up as well. Bunch of prisoners that we can probably ransom. Go for it. In fact, let's go ahead and check our cell blocks over here. I imagine there's a couple of folks that we can ransom. I imagine there's a couple here. Uh, we'll not accept. Well, you're going to be... Executed then. What about you? Ten will not accept. How about you? Not worth it. All right, we'll wait until after the war then. Wait until after the war. Up over here, this has been completed. I imagine... Yeah, this is at 100%. Go ahead and enforce our demands. Good stuff. This guy is a decent marshal. I could raise him from the from the prison cells. He'd make a good, uh, good next marshal if things go horribly wrong for our current marshal. He is severely injured, don't forget. Don't forget. Might not be a bad idea. Who are you? Galician Zaidi. At least he's Zaidi. Uh, negotiate your release. I will recruit you. And I'll keep a hook on you as well. I don't care that you don't like me. Your love is not why I uh, release you from prison. It's your service. Faction targeting me has disbanded. Well, disbanded is a... Maybe not the most accurate representation of what happened there. We crushed them. Fine secrets task has been completed here. Patriarch Makarios. Oh, interesting. Uh, but not interesting enough. We'll be friends. And now let's go ahead and... Right, we don't have our scheme. God damn. <laughs> Forgot about that. Forgot about being discovered in that horrendous way. Now, quite a few people over here now have stopped liking us. The offensive wars have maybe gone on for a little too long as well. Uh, and some lost alliances, too. Let's go ahead and work on swaying some of these people. Work on swaying some of these people. Why can I not? Oh, because you're a child. That's why. <laughs> Pogamax, that's a, that's a good way to watch. That's, that's very... It's quite clever. <laughs> it's quite wise. It's quite wise. Okay, so I can't sway you. Fair enough. What about you? 69. Nice. Dude's about to die, though. His kid doesn't hate me. Like, his uh, his heir, I should specify, doesn't hate me. Oh, but he's garbage. No! Why does this happen? Alright, let him hate. Let's not waste uh, improving relations with a man who's not going to be around for too much longer. We don't have time for that. Anybody else with low opinion of me? Shake Gee over here. Let him be. Yeah, it looks like everyone's actually pretty okay. In that case, my cousin over here. Let's uh, let's sway him a little bit. One round of sway, and then we'll uh, we'll look at um, uh, we'll look at some others. Maybe even seducing my wife. <laughs> Why not? Now we could also look at abducting. He doesn't have any kids yet. That's the unfortunate thing. Now I do have a strong hook on his wife. So the moment he has a child, I could try to abduct them. 
I could try to abduct this guy as well. But when you're 10, I don't think I can release you with a conversion when you're 10, can you? I've never been in that situation. I've never been in that situation. Yeah, the dudes in my court are pretty moody. Well, they're upset. We've been going on wars for, uh, you know, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back wars. See, if I try to abduct this guy... Chance of success and secrecy is very low. Hmm. But my, um... What's his name? My, my, my... Oh my god, the word escapes me right now. My spy master... I was thinking spy keeper. I'm like, what? Well, that's not the word. My spy master would be able to help, and that would help significantly. I mean, if we go ahead and send you to support schemes... Um, I think I have to actually activate this before... Okay, 19%. Not that much. Not that much. You can convert under 10? Okay. Basilius' wife is pregnant. Good spot. Good spot. Alright, in that case, ignore you. We'll just wait a little while. Continue to find secrets over here. And uh, as soon as that baby comes, we will, <laughs> we will kidnap that baby. Wait, hold on. We, do we... Now, classified, you're saying you can convert under 10. Can we convert a baby? Because then, uh, then we'll wait for that. And because we have a hook on the spouse, uh, when we try to murder this man, we'll have her as an agent, so it'll be easy. Use that strong hook to our favor. You can convert babies? That's hilarious. Yeah, I've never been in that position, in that situation, where I've had to convert a baby, so... Um, I guess I will be soon. These guys are done. I could actually disband this army now. No need to fight the siege over here. Disband you, save some of our money. And we're going to try and engage these guys. There's a hook on this man. Excellent. Let's see if we can't marry you to somebody with uh, decent traits. I do believe we have Inheritable on. Let's see if we have Amaz... Oh, sorry. I forget that you have to search Herculean. Not, no, no Herculean women. How about a robust one? Nope, nothing. How about Hail, then? There we go. We got some Hail ladies. Ooh, a giant. Ah, she's only one, though. This guy will be dead by the time she reaches adulthood. <laughs> Because a giant, just because he's got high martial, it's nice to, like, make a martial family in my head is, is, is what I'm thinking. Does what the Turkish have done to our... Let's, uh, let's remember to keep uh, politics out of chat. <laughs> uh, classified, I've done it on newborns as a release from jail. Okay, yeah, that's my plan with the abduction. All right, good, good to know. Good to know for, for certain that it is a thing. Um, let's see, let's see, you're 11, you're 24, a little cynical, a little vengeful, a little craven, not the best, but good enough for, you know, a former rebel, I suppose. It's that hail that I want. Chance of children is medium. Let's go ahead and... Not matrilineal, yep, yeah, send that proposal. Don, watch your step, buddy. The first step being marrying someone who's maybe not uh, ideal. <laughs> okay, a little bit of gold there. There's that marriage proposal. Excellent. Hopefully they'll have some good kids. Now, actually, you know what? I need to check as well. Um, of my children, you are 14. See, I, I wish educated... Like, are you being educated? You are. Okay, you're being educated by Sadia here. High learning, and I believe... Is that your focus? Yeah, okay, good. Do I have any other kids that need education? 14, you're 8. Learning focus. You don't have a guardian. Like, I wish this was a notification. We've wasted two years of Halim's life over here not getting a proper education. Now, he is curious, so diplomacy and learning. Uh, I say we go ahead and switch you to diplomacy focus. Eventually, he'll be in command of, of some land, and a high diplomacy is not bad for that. Let's make sure we can find a proper guardian, though. Not me. Someone with a high... Diplomacy. Well, actually, me. <laughs> I have the highest diplomacy in the realm. Uh, so I will be your guardian, my son. And let's go ahead and flip you to diplomacy focus. Who else do we have over here? That's Halim. Fatima is six. She is charming. That works nicely with her beauty as well. Train her for diplomacy. Train her for intrigue. Yes, her intrigue's pretty good. Her diplomacy is not too bad either. But her intrigue is pretty good. Too bad beautiful doesn't help with intrigue. You'd expect it to, right? 
I would expect it to. I would expect it to. Yeah, I say we go with Intrigue. Like, she might make a good spy master. who knows. And it'd be nice to have, oh my god, Fatima. Are the Fatimas just destined for uh, for that kind of behavior? Um, but do we have someone who'd be capable of educating her in that, you know, realm? Ugh, not really. Who's our spy master right now? Okay, let's move the Scandalous Priest aside over here. He's a vassal of mine. He likes me, so I, I'd be comfortable sending Fatima to his court. Famous last words, I know. I know. Offer Ward, Princess Fatima. First, let's change her education focus. The intrigue. Bit of a risk, maybe. Bit of a risk, maybe. Let's do it. And you. Offer you, Princess Fatima. Teach her well. Don't futz around, Spy Master. No need for a hook or anything. This is all good. This is all good. He'll like me even more. Don't you try anything. I am trusting you with my daughter. <laughs> yeah, Valhalla was released last week, I think. Last week. General Green, glad you could join us. How's it going? Uh, missed um, missed our, our the conclusion-ish to our war against the Italians. Um, and a lot of uh, children coming of age and plotting against uh, the Byzantine Empire. Hoping for successes there, but only meeting failure, unfortunately. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and send this proposal. I think it's the right call. And then what else? I think everybody else is too young. Yeah. Everybody else. Princess Noor, Prince Iman, and Princess Dua. All right, cool. Now, what is what is this scandalous priest? The Zaidi world has been shocked to learn that my vassal, Emir Yudis, has been embezzling the money that his followers gave for charity, repurposing it for his personal use. Dude. While scandals among the clergy are nothing new, it is disquieting for one to occur so close to home. Amanda Easton, first time watching live? Well, I'm glad you can make it. Hope you're enjoying the live stream. Again, folks, if you are enjoying the live stream, if you're enjoying Crusader Kings on the channel, make sure you leave a like. It really helps you make decisions for the channel. And of course, if you're watching live or if you're watching as a VOD, let me know either way. Leave a like, leave a comment if you're watching a VOD. I do, again, read comments for uh, for, for VODs as well. Uh, gonna have a quick drink over here, folks. I am losing my voice. Give me one quick sec. Man, water is so good. Uh, all right, let's see. Condemn him for his transgressions. Defend his character publicly, even at risk to myself. Or maybe I should just stay quiet. Well, let's see. Who are you? Who are you? You are, oh, Barcelona. So not, uh, not a weak vassal by any means. I can defend him. Again, I've got prestige and, and, and piety, right? I have power. And, and, and what good is being a diplomat and having a court um, and having all this power if you're not going to use any of that to your advantage, right? Indeed it is, Jazzy B. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and defend his character. The other two give us stress, either because we're humble or because we're pa uh, impatient, sorry. So defending his character is, his, I would say, is most um, in character for us. Yeah, let's do it. Powerful vassal. That power should be rewarded. Because he's been serving us well enough, apart from being captured. Or apart from having his territory taken during this war. He's been serving us well enough. Alright, let's roll over here. Let's get the job done. Happy to accept your proposed education arrangement. Good stuff. That is my spy master. I actually want to make sure that he is also not uh, on the battlefields here. Uh, Agathoni... Uh, let's see, six... Forbid him. Because I don't need him fighting on that battlefield. I need him fighting on a very different type of battlefield. <laughs> very different type of battlefield. Alright, so we roll in. We hopefully capture the king. That's another 200 gold made if we manage to capture him. Some reinforcements arriving over here. And then we end the war. Cool. Pick up the pace a little bit. And then we can turn our attention to uh, Frankia again. Because again, our truce is over. Turny Troubles. As Malik al Muazzam, I have been obliged to attend a local sparring tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. My vassal, Sheikh Ghi, is here, and as always, is being an insufferable lout. His constant complaining is making everyone even more miserable than normal. On the other hand, I could just pass the time by reading the Quran while I wait. By reading Quran, missing an article there. Um, 
let's see. I could push him into... Nah, I don't... Why? Why make him a rival? He's a vassal of mine, right? Waste enough time on this disaster? No, no, no. Appearances matter. I should be here. We're also not stressed. We'll just read the Quran. Again, we're looking to, to, to declare a holy war in the near future. Best to know, uh, know our ways around the book, right? Oh, no, we've not given up on, uh, on conquering Ghana. When, when did that conversation happen? That's still... We're just working on two fronts at the same time, that's all. Ghana and the Byzantine Empire. They're just two uh, slightly different fronts, I suppose. So I, I, I don't know what you mean about uh, forgetting about Ghana. Ah, this isn't ideal. They're almost done this siege. So be it. My injured vassal, Emir Badr, has been wounded, and his flesh has contract, contracted foulness and swelling. If the right kind of treatment is administered, and Allah is merciful, he should make it. Well, that's not good. He's not the greatest. His primary heir... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that's unfortunate. The emirate... The Badrid Emirate. The Emirate of Castile. He actually renamed it. He had the gall to rename it, eh? Fair enough. But there's nothing that can be done. Move you guys up. Oh. Might not actually win that one. This guy's too busy fighting elsewhere. Budimir down over here would still not be good enough to guarantee a win. Yikes. Now, we don't have all of our men-at-arms here. That's worth noting as well. That should make a difference. There we go. Probably win. Probably win. Let's say put that siege is lost. Let's let these numbers join us. Because when we arrive there, they'll get the defender advantage as well, which is not ideal. Which is not ideal. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we'll, we'll be... F I'm, not, I'm not trying to fight two fronts. I'm trying to ally this side. It's a it's a war on a different kind of battlefield and fight this front over here. Besides, their color is too similar to mine, so they can only be one, right? They can only be one. All right, they've taken that. Fair enough. These guys are forming up. There we go. I think that's more than enough. Let's push. We'll take this back. Because we no longer have the objective, we've lost some of the war score. Unbeliever over here. Spymaster Emir Agathonikos has uncovered a secret held by Count Narses of Venand. Non-believer, but up where? Up over here? Sure. Not going to be all that valuable for us. It's something, but it's not that valuable for us. Let's go ahead and raise the rest of our army over here. In we go. This should be a quick fight. We'll have their king go ransom him off. Hopefully we get their king, otherwise it's all a waste. Oh, are you kidding me? That's too bad. Ooh. Did he die in battle? He died of old age, probably, on the battlefield. That's pretty funny. So Queen Isabel is the current queen of Italy. She'll also die soon. See, that's, hmm. that's the thing. You can't trust uh, house seniority. The original guy who was going to be the uh, heir, or the original guy who was the heir, he died before the current king died, despite the current king being older. And see, like, that's why house seniority is such a weird um, system. Such a weird system. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to work up over here. Let's end this war. That, should, that shouldn't have, I shouldn't have let that happen. I should have just gone for that piece when the uh, opportunity was there. Should have just gone for that piece. Also taken prisoner, all these vassal wars going on. What did I just miss over here? Oh, unhealthy relations. We'll look at that in a moment. Inspiring rule for us. Ooh, ducal conquest over here. The title creation cost reduction is tempting, isn't it? But no, inspiring rule for now. Gotta move down the August tree. Now, what is this? The entourage of my vassal, Sheikh Guy, stops some way from Cordoba. Before I have time to send out an envoy, something is launched from their camp towards my castle. Excuse me. A mangled body, ravaged by disease, falls from the sky, skin marred by rashes and bumps that can be seen even from where I am standing. It lands with a squelch, spreading blood, intestines, and panic. What? YouTube Sarko, you headed out? Thanks for joining in, buddy. I'm glad you could make it. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Miha, you're out as well? Oh, oh, I see. YouTube Sarko was saying farewell to Miha. Well, Miha... Sorry, missed that earlier. I was reading 
chat backwards. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you for joining in. Glad you could. Uh, and yeah, do enjoy the rest of your uh, Monday. Sorry, I was like, I, I read chat like <laughs> in reverse chronological order, which is a foolish thing to do. Can lead to horrible, uh, horrible uh, misunderstandings like that one. Um. Yeah, this is disgusting, Wickles. You is correct. And yeah, finances are... Well, it's because I just raised the rest of my army, that's why. Those men-at-arms are extremely expensive. Uh, that's why, Barbara. That's why. Uh, let's see. Scoop her up. We'll launch the body right back. The body should be studied. Oh, interesting. Or she will have a dignified burial. It's too late for a dignified burial. But you... You, Gee. What is your problem? I can demand his conversion. If he says no, throw him in a, in a jail cell. I gave you a chance to live as you are, but this is how you treat me. Study the body. There's a small chance that one of my court members contracts the disease. What is life without risks, as I always say? And uh, you. Give up your foolish faith. I would gladly I would gladly join you in your exaltation, but the sheer cost of refurbishing churches and pro oh god, prosel proselytizing among my peasants. If you were to help pay for these efforts, I am more than willing to pray for your Allah. How much would it cost me? 170? I will not pay for your eternal salvation. Time to send you to jail, buddy. Now his family is not going to be too happy about that. I will definitely succeed. I should revoke his title as well. Uh, uh, Talha, I, I, I can't do that right now. I don't have the, uh, the, um, innovations required for, um, for that kind of, uh, inheritance law. YouTube Sarko, reading backwards is usually shunned and proof of, uh, possession in this era. Be careful. Well, you know, I'm just in character. Read right to left and bottom to top. If I revoke your title over here. This is, this is the punishment. He, he obviously won't accept. Let's go ahead and throw him in the jail cell first. <laughs> we'll succeed. Damn right. I don't think he'll be 100% success chance. He's a known criminal, so we won't get that tyranny. That's why I asked him to convert first. I would give him a chance. He said no. He, he In fact, he made demands of me after already tossing a rotting corpse into my uh, domain. So throw him in a jail cell as the siege continues down over here. Justice, as per my orders, Sheikh Gi is now to be confined to his home. I've posted some of my guards to ensure he is compliant with the house arrest. Good. Go ahead and revoke your title. He's my prisoner. He has to accept. He has to accept. Tuhar, what is this? Is this is this tour? Or no? It doesn't read very Frankish, but I could be wrong. If anyone's more familiar, let me know. Because it's not like all the names have changed or anything. Anyway, nonetheless, revoke his title, because his. Uh, once I'm done with him, his family's not going to like me very much. So revoke your title. To the squeamish Malik al-Muazzam Ismail Ababwa. I see no choice but to bow to your decision to strip me of the sheikdom of... Tuar? Thuar? Not sure. Just so. Um, pause for a second. Faction created against me. Populists, no big deal. Uh, let's also... Teach you a lesson. Might discover a secret. We lose some stress, gain some dread, spend some piety. Ah, no uh, no secrets or anything. Again, his, his spouse isn't too happy about that, but you know what? Deal. It's too bad. It's too bad. Their kids could have been good. In fact, they aren't terrible. I could try to sway them. I could try to convince them that, uh, you know, I did what was necessary. Aren't we swaying this guy? Ten months. Did we already succeed once? I must have just missed the notification. Plus 14. It could be a bit higher. Once the warring is done, it'll be a lot better. That negative 33 is really hurting us, isn't it? These kids aren't terrible. Hail. Wow. Uh, actually, they, they kind of are. I'm just lying to myself. Their prowess and stuff is very low. This kid's got scales. Oh my god. Um, let's go ahead and give this... Oh, actually, we can hold on to this ourselves. Our uh, holding limit went up. Our domain limit, rather, went up. Hmm. Might want to increase control over here if we decide to do that, though. What is... 
buddy up to? Four years left. Four years left. What's control over here? 51. Ugh. Probably just better off handing this off to somebody else, right? Who's in charge here? You. Who's in charge here? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, interesting. Who's in charge over here? All these kids... This is, this is just children over here. Well, okay, no, she's not a child. She's... A my apologies, she's a dwarf. Um, you're also not... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, we've got... It's, 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 uh, it's, it's the short courts up over here. There you go. Um, and you're a child too? Oh my god, what, how many... What is... What, what, okay, what? What is, what are the chances? What are the chances though, for real? Dwarfism. 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 Child. I feel like I'm playing Duck Duck Goose. Medieval Duck Duck Goose. I mean, I suppose I could give it to you. You don't like me all that much, but part of it is because of um, the offensive wars, the high taxes and all that. Yeah, you know what? I I, I think uh, I, I think she is Zaidi. So sure, she, she can have this land. I'll make her like me as well. Guarantee this title, make you a little bit stronger. Again, I would hold on to it, but because of the control situation, there's, there's no point. There we go. Not the other way. Oh yeah, I did successfully sway this guy. <laughs> Keep at it though. Keep at it. He's a vassal, so improving uh, relations beyond the bare minimum is not a bad idea. As a clan again. Dwarf, dwarf, child. Yeah, spindle. Exactly. Dwarf, dwarf, child. The uh, the medieval duck, duck, goose. Oh, the sweet kiss of the whip. It might look innocent, but it can separate flesh from bones just as well as any knife. A truth Guy is soon to be ex is soon to experience. He will be sleeping on his stomach for quite some time. This guy. This guy. I can listen to his scream, <laughs> screams for hours. Do not offend me. Remember what I did to my uh, wife that was cheating on me? Right? In game, before anybody asks. <laughs> Inspired moderation. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son Hullim what he thought. He claimed he had learned a lesson about not reaching for more than one can handle. That is an interesting takeaway. Overreaching can be terribly dangerous. He becomes temperate. Good for his stewardship. He must be taught the proper execution of the law. He becomes just. Also not bad. It is time to show him how little Allah cares. That's terrible. Make him cynical. No, no, no. We've become a pious man over the years. I would I would not do that. I would not do that. <laughs> yeah, Natalie P. I guess he came back right on time, eh? Bring, bring in that whip emoji. <laughs> um, overreaching. Ah, I don't mind him being temperate. I don't mind him being temperate. Again, if I if I were to land him, him ha having a high stewardship is pretty good for us. Uh, he's already going to have a high diplomacy because of his education and all that. Sure, you know what? Yeah. I think that's fair. Overreaching can be terribly dangerous. Good kid. Good kid. Bright future ahead of him. Ooh, another unbeliever. Doesn't matter. These guys are all minor uh, individuals. Not exactly what I was uh, looking for here. Sign of a weak soul. It's a, a secret is a secret is a secret. We've got one. Alliance expired over here. I assume this man has died. My brother-in-law. Not a very notable individual, I don't think. Emir Wittericho. There we go. Emir Wittericho converted to Maghrebi. Perfect. The second, I should specify. Good stuff. And hopefully he will spread that Maghrebi-ness across, uh, across his realm. Fantastic. Fantastic. There's that siege one. 100% war score. Prisoner taken as well. So not all the waste. Ransom you off for a little bit of gold. And let's bring an end to this war finally. Enforce our demands. Yeah. Yeah, let's end it. Greetings, Malik Amwazim. Oh, look at that. Already we've had... Uh, what a swapping in power. The king has taken charge, it seems. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. You're damn right. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. You're damn right. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. You're damn right. So be it. That allows us to disband our army as well. And start making some money again. <laughs> Because we've been we've been spending some money. Aid Bayer, dope content. I'm in part six. I'm ahead back. Sounds good, buddy. I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, no spoilers for you, hopefully. Uh, but thanks for dropping by and saying hello. Uh, I hope you uh, hope you enjoy the rest of it. Part six, eh? Wow, it's wild because it's live streams. So that's 18 hours, not just six hours. 
Uh, cousin taken prisoner, my cousin Fatima. Man, I'm telling you, this is a cursed name. This is not my daughter, don't worry. But Fatima, all the Fatimas in our world have been, you know, in some form of trouble or another. Constantly, constantly. This is just a vassal war going on. Ransom accepted, good stuff. Now what's this? My home, no, someone else. Thorandok over here, because he's beautiful and a fornicator, we are constantly suspicious of her. My wife, Malika Al-Muazam Turandok, is once again absent from our chambers as night falls. She has been distant lately, lost in thought and rarely seen at court. Am I not to her satisfaction? Is she simply busy, or could she be warming someone else's bed? Do you have another? I just confront her. I can investigate it myself. Only 66% chance of success. Wow. Um, you know, I've, I've checked up on her multiple times. And I believe every time she's been made upset because of it. I should trust her now, right? Right, eventually you should start trusting. Yeah, she would never disrespect the sanctity of our marriage. But that's not the diligent thing to do. Her every move will be watched. We'll, we'll, we'll resume looking for secrets in the Byzantine Empire afterwards. Marry all of your daughters with a high sum of... Uh, with high sum of all qualities, person, so you can get good court to recruit from. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've, I've been thinking about that. I've got quite a few daughters, but they're not... Uh, some of them are still coming of age. Over here, we have a betrothal already. That should be a decent one. Um, but I will be looking at uh, genetic concerns, let's put it that way. Ransom over here. Sure, I'll accept that. Above domain limit. Oh. When did that happen? Oh, I guess this land over here. That's That's when that happened. Thanas and Algier. We can hand these over to, um, oh, dude. Disband these guys as well. I was wondering what my ec economy was looking so terrible. It's because I have this, like, stray armies over here. Disband these guys. There we go. There we go. That's looking a lot better. Looking a lot better. I should get rid of some of these pinned characters as well. Raimundo is done for. Asenath, the giant. Married to my cousin. Your kids. Looks like they're carrying the, uh, the giant trait with them, but it doesn't look like you have... Oh, there we go. The sons came later. Not a giant. Just my luck. And another granddaughter. All giant... Oh, what about you? Ah, you have giantism as well. Okay. 14 prowess. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. I imagine he's one of my... Varys. 14 prowess. Or he might, um... Because he's landed at an emir. Yeah, guess I uh, guess not. But, but still good to have capable people. Oh my god, is this my friend? Yeah, this is my best friend. He's such a, a capable knight. Holy! <laughs> I didn't notice that happen. Nonetheless, what are your kids like? What is your heir like? Does he have robust, not Herculean? All right, uh, sorry, got got a little sidetracked there. Let's go ahead and give these lands to the um, Sultan of Maghreb over here. He's a powerful vassal. Make him even more powerful. Make him like me even more. He's got decent traits, actually. And plus, hopefully, that'll empower him to declare war on uh, on Italy again, maybe. Perhaps. Why are you... Oh, my God. He's attacking the Sultan of the Abdullahid... Um, Emirate over here, or Sultanate, sorry. He wants to reclaim what his dad had, I suppose. Fair enough. In fighting. Nonetheless. Grant you these two titles. Yeah, let's do it. Takes us below our limit, but that's not the end of the world. Our beard buddy is the best indeed, yeah. Truly. It's a pretty good beard, pretty good beard. No cape, though. Oh, look at that. Additional taxes for my steward. 123. Wonderful. Oh, my God. I was getting a little worried about how low our money got. Because we were we were filthy rich before our war with the Franks, right? But, of course, having all those soldiers raised is uh, not cheap. Finding secrets is done. No, you're supposed to watch after my wife. <laughs> Adil. Who is this guy? He's a knight of mine. No, there's no reason we can't be friends instead. Hopefully he's still looking looking into my wife. Gonna give him one more loop of fine secrets and then uh, and then I'll send him back to the Byzantine Empire. Now Italy. Unfortunately, we have a truce. These guys went from being Africa to Hafsid. 
could declare war on them. I could declare war on Mazab as well, or Ghana. I mean, Ghana is going to be a, a an interesting time. These guys are strong. These guys are strong. And if I was to declare a war on them, it would be a holy war for the kingdom. Greetings, Malik al Muazzam Ismail Ababwa of Idrisid. I think it might be the best interest of our realms to arrange a meeting with our heirs, Al Qasim and Prince Nguna. A neighboring ruler from where? From the Hafs. Oh, interesting. We were just talking about you. Prince Nguna. He's an albino. Um, okay, he's uh, capable. This is interesting. Oh my god, Wickles. <laughs> He's a good fighter due to his beard, Nassar. Exactly, yeah. It adds prowess. A good beard adds prowess. Um, not a bad idea. It is in keeping with uh, with our diplomatic spin, and would give him a chance to uh, to practice his diplomacy as well in character. So war with uh, the Hafsid will wait. I mean, I wonder if. Yeah, they're not likely to accept. And a plus 25 is not likely to make a difference either. Different culture group, different faith. Yeah. Unlikely to get them to become vassals. A buffer state is not a bad idea between us and the Byzantine Empire. Also not wrong. Though, honestly, the Byzantine Empire will swallow uh, Hafsid with no issue, I imagine. But this is not a bad idea. Our focus then can be on Mazab for now. Blooming friendship. The arranged meeting between Naguna and Al Qasim is the perfect opportunity to craft the foundations of a long lasting relationship between my realm and Amir Al Umara Magsavas. I mean, it's. Come on. <laughs> be honest with yourself. These guys aren't going to last very long. I should be very careful when planning the encounter. He should come here, or I will visit them. Ooh. It is expensive. 350. But it would give me control over the meeting. It's all of our money gone. That's all of our money gone. Hmm. I could let him... Uh... Uh, Nisarg, there was the uh, war against Italy that we concluded. I don't know if we'd call that major, but it did help the Sultanate of uh, Maghreb. Um, we might be kicking off a new war in just a moment as well. Jeez, that's expensive. 350. It's like quite a bit of time worth of making money to get that money back. It also puts us in debt, which is a problem. We're not at war right now, so it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I think I would prefer having control over it. I wanted to uh, make that title as well, the, uh, the Sultanate of Aquitaine, but it can wait. Ah, uh, that's true as well, Brian. That's true as well. If we're about to dive into a war, then let's not waste 350 gold on something. Because recovering from that will take two months. Okay, al Kasim, my boy, you're 20. <laughs> you're, not, you're not my boy anymore. You're a man. Um, I guess prove yourself. We gain a little bit of renown, actually, for our dynasty as well, which is not a bad thing. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does in this visit. There's Fatima leaving prison. Not my daughter, a different Fatima. And a ransom opportunity over here. Sure. A little bit more money made. al Qasim has finally returned after his visit to Amir al-Umara Masgaba's court. That was fast. Unfortunately, oh no, things did not go as planned. Nguna and al Qasim do not seem to have much in common after all. What is truly irritating about this entire affair is that I was not even able to learn much from it. That's too bad. We should try this again sometime. A little loss of... Uh, relations there, but uh, maybe that's for the better. Maybe that's for the better. Right? So, war with Mazab over here should be pretty quick. War with Ghana. It's going to be a long one. Now, they have recently lost a fair bit of gold because I assume they were in some other wars. More peasant rabble targeting me. Hmm. No, I'm not really looking to, to... Oh, Renown. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about Prestige. Yeah, I was waiting until 3k because if we look at our Dynasty Tree right... That's not what I meant. If we look at our Legacies right now, uh, we've already got Convergent Blood as well. So if we get Resilient Bloodline, that would cost us 3,000 if we want to go all the way down to um, Octogenarians. If we want to switch gears, we can do that. But uh, I think uh, I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. That's not polite, YouTube Sarko. <laughs> it, 
idiocy doesn't gain you this much territory. <laughs> uh, but yeah, war with Ghana. Let's take a quick look over here. Holy War 4. The Kingdom of Anbia. Hmm. We can try and gain some more territory over here. This man is not super old. He's up there. But he's not super old. He's not going to die in the middle of this. He's not going to die in the middle of this war. I mean, he's wounded as well, though. I'm, I'm just kidding, YouTube Circle. You're okay. <laughs> Ricky Cool sounds good, man. Have a good night's sleep. Thanks for joining in. I hope you had a good time. And uh, again, the VOD will be up right after the stream is done, so you'll be able to catch what's left. But have yourself a wonderful night's rest. <laughs> African angst. Oh, dear. I mean, it's still performing the, the Empire of Maghreb. Let's not, let's not uh, lose sight of our ultimate ultimate goal. We need, we need this territory to form the uh, Empire of Maghreb. Um, yeah, I guess we could declare that war of 12,000. They're a bit more in number than us right now. Wait a little while until we replenish before we declare this war, because if they strike, because they're, they're at full strength right now. And they have allies as well, let's not forget, right? Need, yeah, that's the thing, Jazzy B. I think I need more money, and uh, I think I need to be at full strength. No, I don't need to take all of Ghana, just uh, just the uh, the Kingdom of Anbayu. Basically have the Western, what is, you know, modern-day Western Sahara. Uh, we don't need all of Ghana. But, um, well, I guess we'll we'll need to hold this as well, I suppose. Ga Ghana and goals. Yeah, we should save some money. Attack when they're already in a war. Yeah, who knows when that'll be. And if when they go to war even, you know, they're not going to have any struggles. Unless, unless Jen over here, Jenny, <laughs> unless they come through alongside Gur at the same time, uh, we're not going to have... That's not going to make that much of a difference, but we can hope. Uh, peace is good as well, though. Let's let's not forget one of our biggest issues right now with our vassals is this constant offensive warring. Negative... Where is it? Offensive war. Negative 31. Right. Let's let that simmer a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Peace is not a bad idea from time to time. Finished finding secrets. What? I do okay. This guy's clearly not looking into my wife. Are you involved with my wife? Don't you, don't you dare, buddy. Don't you dare. Uh, council, go ahead and find secrets in Basilius's court. Now let's actually take a look over here as well. Sorry, find secrets over here. Yes, please. Do you have a boy? You have a boy. Let's get to work over here. 5% chance of success. I guess the wife, the mother, isn't really interested in getting involved. 15% secrecy. Oof. Not great. I'll get you supporting schemes instead. That's not great. What do y'all think? Should we try it anyway? Try it anyway. And yeah, Mazab first, I'm thinking as well. It's like just relatively cheap. Why not fabricate when you have Kingdom Claim? Use it at the right time. Sorry, I don't... Uh... I don't follow. We've already done a war for the kingdom uh, of, of uh, well, Frankie. Yeah, I guess it was more of an empire war, really. Ah, this is risky. Man, even the spymaster helping isn't uh, enough. You have nothing to lose. I mean, I suppose. I just wonder if there's like a better time that we could work, work his agents a little bit first. Work his uh, court a little bit first. Get some more hooks, potentially. Let's, let, 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 let's go for it. Let's go for it. And let's see if we can't convince some people. That's what I thought. A small bribe, 122 gold is not that bad. Convince them as things go on, I suppose. Though, probably good to get at least a couple of people with us right off the bat, just so the secrecy is a bit higher. I saw you say, did you get a burger? And I assumed Ease was in chat right away. <laughs> How diplomatic of you to try to constantly do these murder schemes? It's not a murder scheme. It's an abduction scheme. I'm just inviting him over for a conversation. Diplomacy has a, has a dark side to it as well. Let's not forget. There's a very dark side to diplomacy. <laughs> Embassies uh, can, can serve multiple purposes. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and convince you over here. A little bit of money. Not the end of the world. We'll make this money back in no time. 122 is, you know, at the rate of our economy, not that bad. It's five months of, of money making. Let's invite you. And we want to make sure, like, the, the primary thing here is we want to make sure that secrecy is is helped along. Uh, and then the, the final touches we can save for later. 198. Ooh, you're more expensive, aren't you, buddy? 
Well, let's see what this one guy does for our secrecy. Come on now. There we go. 42%, not bad. Meanwhile, Idris has come of age as well. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Idris the intricacies of any kind of scholarship. All efforts have come to naught, however. Hardly studious, he at least managed to memorize certain choice quotes from the classics. He will probably never write any great theorems, but he might read one or two. <laughs> great. That's, uh... That's not ideal. Uh, no, Tala, the, the idea is to uh, convert him. That's why we're abducting his his son. And evidently, you can convert a baby. I've, so I've been told. Uh, they grow up so fi uh, fast. Uh, insightful thinker. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's okay, I suppose. It's okay. Still worth landing, potentially? Maybe? Maybe. I mean, let's take a look at... Um, take a look at uh, Halim here. Halim is the one who's definitely going to be landed. Right? Definitely going to be landed. And, uh, I mean, these guys are a little too young over here. It's a little too young to decide for this guy. But you are an adult now. Not very capable in some ways, but very capable in others. Could look for a spouse for you as well. Try and find someone with uh, good genes. Go ahead and get rid of this. Look for any inheritable traits. Robust over here. Okay, not bad. I mean, he's already got the uh, the genius, right? Amazonian. Oh, she's only two. It'll be a it'll be a betrothal, obviously. But Amazonian is a good trait. We don't have that yet. Oh, giant and hail. That could be good. She's two. What do we think? Giant and hail or Amazonian? Let's see. Amazonian over here gives us plus eight to prowess. And it's not really a bad gene. Giantism is, you know, is a bad gene. Oh yeah, I know that, Tala. I know that. But uh, that's only if he's the um, the ruler. Primary heir only gives a 50%, if I recall correctly. If I recall correctly, 50%. Um, giantism, let's see. Minor health penalty. We don't... Yeah, that's plus six prowess, though. Plus six and plus two would make him quite the warrior. Yeah, why not both, right? Hmm. I mean, eventually he will be able to have multiple spouses. Let's start with the Amazonian, I think. All positive traits. It'll be a while before they marry, obviously. But sure, let's do it. I'm not really focused on the uh, the alliance there. Giant and hail. I don't want I don't want Amazonian to get away from me though. Imagine having Amazonian genius children. You know what I mean? Imagine having Amazonian genius children. Because giants, they have a health penalty. It's not major, but it can be a problem. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Amazonian first, and his second wife can be Giant and Hale. In fact, let's go ahead and make sure we don't miss out on that. Let's go ahead and pin you, and I actually need to adjust my pins. Where are we? There you are. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's do it. Obviously not matrilineal. A little, little bit of a hurt to, our, um, to, to his prestige, but it's not going to matter. Send that proposal. Let's do it. It's going to be a few years. Again, it's a betrothal. Don't worry. They're not getting married. It's a betrothal. It'll be a few years before they marry. It's, well, many years before they marry. Now, over here, let's see. 42% secrecy. I still want a little bit more, I think. Quite a bit of our money, eh? 198. Ah. Difficult decision here. 198. Takes it down to 72 gold. War with Mazab is not going to be that difficult or expensive. And it could be, you know, g giving us enough wealth to make it self-sustaining. So fine, let's bribe this. Because if this gets found, then all this time and money has been wasted. So I think we should prioritize this a bit. Uh, Spindle, uh, speaking of which, in my game, my current ruler is a Herculean genius with no face, but he survived the Black Plague even though most of his family didn't make it. Oh my god. That's a pretty baller story, though, Spindle. And yeah, I I, uh, I, I can't be the Caliph of Moalism uh, because I am Zaidi. <laughs> Alright, let's see if that uh, bribe here makes a good bit of progress for us over here. 68, I feel a bit better about that. There's our uh, alliance with the Heartbreaker, excellent. Hopefully we don't have to break any hearts. 
I don't think we have the money to convince anybody else to join us. What about the people that we have hooks on? I guess none of them, or we have secrets, not necessarily hooks. We could try to turn some of those secrets into, um, okay, hold on, first of all. Sultan Mikhail, my cousin. Unpin you. Unpin you, you're dead. This is the, uh, the pin we have to make sure we keep in mind. Prince Mikhail, the giant. We can unpin you as well, I think. You need to have some kids, buddy. Guillermo de Santiago. Uh, yeah, we can definitely unpin you. <laughs> Hideous and gout-ridden. He doesn't look that bad. That about. Emir Fat. Dude's about to die. Oh, look at that diplomacy, though. Unpin you. And you, why do we have you pinned? Look after your children, I think. Well. We can unpin both of them. Sure, just leave her pinned. Our, our pins were getting a little ridiculous. Uh, these agents have joined. Yeah, okay, so let's see. Um... If we take a look at hooks and secrets, we've got these guys, right? We've got these guys' as secrets. Will they join me, though? Gennadios, Narcis, and Aznet. Let's see. Narcis. Yep. Uh, got Aznet. If I can, if I can blackmail them. Aznet, Aznet, where are you? First name matches Aznet, why is it not, uh... You would expect it to be the same across the board, but perhaps not. And, who was the other guy? Gil Gilardios? Damn, I forget his name. Gennadios. G-E-N-N-A... It's just not filtering anymore. Oh no, right. Keep forgetting you had to click on that. There we go. Yeah, he joined as well. Alright, cool. You know what? Let's go ahead and turn these uh, secrets, hopefully, into hooks. We gotta blackmail them. Hopefully. This is the first time I've used this in this entire um, series, I think. 100% will accept. Good stuff. Get that non-believer hook. Weak hook. We'll use it right away. There's no other use of it, right? There's no other use of it. Cool. Cool. Blackmail, sir. And you as well. And you know what? We'll blackmail her as well. 80% might accept. Good enough. Do it. Hopefully they will all... There's our hook there. Good stuff. There's our hook there. Beautiful. Blackmail refused. Oh, this man. Okay, that's the 80%. What are the chances? What are the chances? Whether it is a misguided sense of pride or fear of some greater reprisal, Count Narcis claims that I hold no sway over him. I could expose his secret, or I keep it a secret? No, I will expose him. It's called blackmail, but it wasn't blackmail. It was a legitimate threat. There can only be one outcome. We have to tell people we mean business, right? What kind of a diplomat says things and doesn't follow through? I've exposed Count Narcis' doubts about God. There's your punishment, man. Don't wrong me. And let's see now. We've got to use our hooks, and we can convince these people to join us. Invite you. Go ahead and clear our filter here. All we have to do is do a quick kind of scroll. There we go. To find... I've already invited you. Anybody else? Ooh, hello. I need to bribe him. Not about to spend that money. Yeah, it seems as though the woman wasn't... Like, Aznet wasn't able to join this. Sultan was swayed. Let's go ahead and maybe sleep with our wife. Might not be a bad idea. She's beautiful. She'd be she'd be a good... Uh, I think it's a good idea. Um, wait a second. You're not even the right faith. Let's fix that right away. Please and thank you. There we go. Folks, joining Secrecy is at max right now, so we, that, I'm glad I didn't bribe that other guy. It would be a waste of money. Good stuff, good stuff. Zaidi. Where is our seduction? Again, we can't romance because we're asexual, just as a reminder. <laughs> oh my god, Natalie, I just noticed. One-eyed, he lacks foresight with that decision. Yeah, he couldn't He couldn't see it coming. And uh, classified, sorry, all of them for, for what? Uh, parties avoiding that message like the plague, which it is. Oh no, I don't know which one you're talking about. I missed it, but um, maybe I should keep avoiding it then. <laughs> uh, a 30% chance of success, again. Being asexual isn't going to help my cause, but it's worth a shot. 
We've been swaying people for long enough. Worth a shot there. This is pretty good. 77% chance of success isn't fantastic, but as we go along, I will maybe bribe somebody else to join in uh, to try and guarantee its success, but that secret is high enough. That secrecy is high enough to uh, make me a lot more comfortable. All right, good stuff. All this is done here. Good stuff. These guys are raiding me. What? What? <laughs> Traveling all the way down here to raid me? All right, let's let that offensive war penalty drop a little bit more, shall we? Like I said, we're going to wait for that to drop, and then we can go ahead and war with Mazab. Now, my real, uh, I would hope that the Sultanate of Maghreb would do something like that. They're, they're soon to finish this war over here, but the Maghreb claim on the Sultanate as a whole. Wow. Okay, well, diplomats keeping their word, none do. When it's a threat, <laughs> there's another cadet branch formed. Dua has increased her marshal significantly again. Good stuff. Groomed to rule is working pretty well, but maybe not giving me the exact traits that I would like. I do also need to give away one of my duchies, right? I mean, jeez. Oh, hello. Bewing, bewinged messenger. As my scheme moves closer to fruition, swift communication is key. I have an especially clever pigeon, which Comitas could use to send an urgent message to me here in Cordoba if the need arises. But how would I get the bird into the castle of Constantinople? Hmm. Yeah, Shaz, uh, uh, investing in the cat. We've done a bit of that. We've done a bit of that. Might want to do a bit more, but saving up for uh, for a big war as well, right? Ghana, I mean, not uh, not Mazab. Mazab's going to be a small war. Uh, let's see. A local bird trainer could deliver it as a gift. Okay. I'll send the gift myself. Basilius Callistos couldn't refuse. I get the messenger pigeon, but I also get involved, which hurts our secrecy. Or it is simply too risky. Hmm. What's happening to his arm? Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Missing a sleeve over here. Duchies to our son-in-laws? Uh, well, I want to give a duchy to one of my boys, one of my sons, who is going to be a capable uh, leader. I think that's what I was saving a, a duchy up for. Uh, 95 gold isn't that expensive. There's a chance that he gets dismissed. But that's not as bad of a, of a potential negative outcome. So sure, a local bird trainer could deliver it as a gift. Yeah, improve that success chance, why not? Beautiful. Beautiful. 85% success chance there. It's a maximum, so no need to invest any further. Small but meaningful gift. Not every gift has to be a grand statement of wealth. Smaller things can make a far greater impression, as long as they are chosen well. I wonder what Malika al Muazim Turandot would appreciate. Well, I can think of a few, few things she might appreciate. <laughs> I thought he was only attracted to his hat. Are you talking about... Are you talking about us? Like me? Like our... <laughs> our Malika al Muazim? Um, because maybe he is asexual. Um, I think she likes to catch people's attention or just things that glimmer. No, she definitely likes to catch people's attention, man. Uh, a stuffed fox would certainly be unusual. Okay. A flower display for the garden at Cordoba. Or let's avoid it entirely. She's trusting, she's ambitious, and she's arrogant. I think, uh, I think a silver locket would go, would go a, a, a long way. Yeah, sure. A silver locket to, to... To, to, to match a fraction of her beauty. Because nothing can match her beauty, right? A silver locket. Always close to her heart. I mean, we're going for seduction, not romance. I don't know if her heart's what we want to be close to. I received the silver, silver locket you sent. I am unsure as to the reason why you sent me a gift like this, but I took note of it. What? What did I do wrong? Come on, man. What is this? <laughs> this smile has got no game. My injured cousin. Uh, these guys in their wars. My cousin, Sultan Tajuddin, has been wounded and the injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough to fight this on its own. I feel death lingering by his bedside. Man, are you serious? Severely wounded. He's a good sultan. How's, how's your son? Ugh, oh, goddamn. He might be okay. He's temperate. He's getting his stewardship education focus as well. And he's quick, so hopefully... Hopefully, if the worst comes to pass... Things will be okay still. Liberty faction. 
I guess my dread is dropping. Well, we know what to do about that. Over to the court, over to the prison. And uh, let's go ahead and solve this problem, shall we? Can I ransom you? No, I can't. Well, to the stake you go. Ooh, actually. How's Carling, eh? It's not a... It's not a nothing house. Well, we don't really get along anyway. I was wondering if I negotiate her release. No point. There's no point. There's no point. Let's just execute her. Burn her at the stake. Send a message. We're not done with the Franks. We're not done with the Franks. Uh, what about you? Also, of House Carling. Well, not House Carling Bouvet, but... Ransom you for nothing? Not, a, not, not, not an option? Why are you too young? Yeah, they're too young to torture. Go ahead and execute you. Can't torture them, but... But we can execute them. Gain that dread. Thank you. Gautier, I assume you can't be ransomed. Well, we know you can't be ransomed. So, to the stake with you. Good stuff. And uh, who gets to live here? You know what? Guy? This is the guy. <laughs> this is the Guy that uh, threw a corpse into my domain. He gets to live for a little bit longer. Death would be too... Um, too... Uh, you know, kind to him. Run you at the stake here. This guy. This guy, I've got plans for him. There we go. 100 dread. That should end some of those factions that stand against me. Ooh, what's happening here? Are you at war with... This guy's the aggressor, but he's losing land over here right now. Fair enough. Another cadet branch. Jeez. Slipping away. Halim seems to be having a difficult time at our latest feast. He snuck out early and was not seen for the entire rest of the evening. Well, if you have better things to do, do those instead. Again, we're impatient. He's impatient. It's all good. We understand. We understand. Ooh, Emperor Guillaume here lost a war. Lost against Denmark. Oh, Denmark still exists. Oh my lord! <laughs> it's because Denmark was wiped, but I guess um, they reclaimed enough land to uh, to create the uh, the kingdom, I guess. So Denmark's back, baby. Denmark's back. Making some strong moves over here against uh, the Empire of Francia. Good on them. Dance, not simply because I am the lord of the castle, but because I want to see Marikal Muazam Turandok there. She looks resplendent, and when we finally have a moment to ourselves, I offer my suggestion. Oh, lord. I mean, I imagine she enjoys a, a dance, right? Join me in the circle for the next dance, my lady. Rather than a walk in the garden, or some more food, or have you seen how these people dance? <laughs> Just judging them. Uh, appeal to her malicious side. Well, she's not malicious. Appeal to her greed. She's not greedy. Her thoughtful side. Mm. Or her playful side. I, I think her playful side. Right? <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> Good luck pleasing this woman. Uh, have you gained Brittany? No, I have not gained Brittany. Wait. Whoa! Good spot, Jazzy B. When, the, when did, did... Who pushed... For Brittany. Yo, Emir Rafik over here. Making some moves. This is what I mean about powerful vassals. They're good to have from time to time. He's not even considered one of our most powerful, but he... he whoa. Okay, now hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What happened over here? Well, the, 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 the duchy doesn't exist. Holy, that's... Oh, I love... I love that the AI actually does stuff in this game. Uh, but I want to check. What's, what's the situation over here? This guy inherited, conquered in a holy war. Yeah, this guy declared a holy war. Now, did he actually gain all of that through that same holy war? I also like being able to look at title histories. Conquered in a holy war. Yeah, man. This guy made a proper move. I assume this one was also conquered in a holy war. Oh, man. This is good. That's fantastic. Not an inheritance, Jazzy B. Proper, proper aggression. Oh, beautiful to see. That kind of stuff makes this game come to life, honestly. The fact that this kind of stuff happens, just... I, God damn it, I love it. Amazing. Alright, join me in the circle for the next dance. Play to her, uh, to her... 
<laughs> Fornicators dance, right? Dancing in fornication. It's footloose, right? <laughs> God damn. Come on. Let this work. What are your what are your ideas, Wickles? Malika al Muazam Turandok and I spun across the floor together, turning heads as she laughed to her heart's content. Excellent. What an evening we had. And what a night we shawl afterwards as well, right? Good stuff, good stuff. Man, that was good stuff. I'm 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 very happy to see those gains over here. Not from you, but from your liege. Good moves, man. Good moves. Good moves. Cool. I mean, I wonder what else he'll uh, do. Good point mentioning Alba as well, though. Their, their color is a little too close to mine. I might have to take care of them eventually, too. Yeah, there we go. These guys are disbanding. Well, these are just populists. Hopefully others will start disbanding soon as well. And let me just take a quick look at culture. Ooh, my cousin Harun has accused my friend Emir Mikhail of having had an extramarital affair with his lover Asnap. How could he defile the sanctity of his marriage? I always find this one funny. It's like this man, Harun, wasn't able to keep his lover happy enough to keep her away from Mikhail here. The heartbreaker. None of my business. Allah will, uh, will judge. Yeah, Denmark is back. We're dancing. I'm happy. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Life of Rose Angel. Uh, 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 I got a little marriage over here. What the lot? Who, which one were you again? Or marriage of uh, an alliance, I, so, I assume. Unfortunately, these guys are not as powerful as they were when I sought that alliance out. But too late for that. My beloved wife. The servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with seashells. As Malika Muazam Turandok enters our chambers, she smiles resolutely and joins me without any hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before Allah. Perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. Ah, ye. Yeah. The bonds of marriage are enough. Unfortunately, because we're asexual, we cannot make her our lover. Oh, Wickles, I see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, dirty dancing. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, true. <laughs> true. More more like dirty dancing than footloose, I suppose. We all know what happened. Damn right we do. All right, so, uh, Maghrebi. So these guys have uh, not been spreading their culture, unfortunately. Hopefully they'll get to it sooner rather than later. I'd very much like to see some progress over there. In terms of faith, yeah, Zaidi, that's our avenging of the, the Battle of Tour, right? A couple of spots over here need converting, but apart from that, this is pretty good. I love to see Brittany as a Satru. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, but hopefully that'll change soon. How are you still... Dude, you're still... Wow. Married. Alive. What? 68 and 62. I'm going to decline this request for a divorce again. <laughs> Hoping time would do its job sooner than that, but I guess not. Do we go to war with Mazab right now, folks? What do you think? We wouldn't do a holy war for a kingdom. We can only do that once, right? Oh no, my wife Turandokt is with child and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. Am I really the father as she claims? Or has she betrayed our marriage? I will look into this discreetly. I'm not going to confront her. This, this has got to be our kid, right? How quickly can you tell a pregnancy though? Has it been, what, three months or so? Usually that's how long it takes, right? Let's uh, look into this discreetly. Now, we would do a Holy War for a duchy. Uh, we could also push some of these claims. Again, we've got prestige for days, right? So we could push some of these claims, or we could go ahead and conquer an entire duchy. Looks like the claims are for the... Oh, there we go. That's what I'm thinking. The Emirate of Tuat. Shall we? I think we should. Why not? Good land grab over here. Again, prestige is really not a concern in terms of cost. They're vastly inferior, so it shouldn't take us very long to do this either. We don't even need to raise our entire army, honestly. We could raise half of it and get the job done. Yeah, let's do it. Conquer the duchy. The emirate of Tuat. We'll have to give that to somebody else as well. Again, we'll be way over our, our duchy limit. Let's declare this war. Plus, the looting and stuff will give us uh, maybe some, some gains to go to war with Ghana as well. Let's do it. Declared war. These guys up over here. I thought you were a vassal of mine. 
wait, hold on a second. Oh, oh, it's because there's multiple. Oh, no, hold on, these guys are, like I said, the full moon. Ah, well, what do you know? Who's got... Whoa, 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 this is not, uh... I wish I checked this beforehand. This is not good. Looks like they're already in a war that's about to end. Damn. Okay, well, let's make our moves quickly, then. Up over here, we'll form the army. Up over here instead. Raise all. Give it some time. Uh, I say we raise about, well, like, 5,000 or so. Yes, yeah, Araxis, doing our duty. Doing our duty. They smile, be like, just lie down and think of the realm. Oh, God. Ooh. Suspicions laid to rest. Seems that my fears have been unfounded. Despite every effort on the part of my spies, I have found no indication that Turandok has been unfaithful. Unfortunately, she has found out about my suspicions and is very disappointed in me. Of course I trusted you all along, my dear. Yeah, this has happened over and over again. Sultan Tajuddin has died. This guy got wounded, eh? But it's okay, his son isn't terrible. We'll see how his education turns out. We'll see how his education turns out. We might want to seek that alliance again. This, though, is interesting. Kiam has won against Sheikh Kamran of Amien. Interesting. Has he vassalized him? No. Oh, we could actually go up there. A Sheikh of Amien. Really shaking things up, eh? Really shaking things up. I think we're done recruiting over here. Let's try making some moves. 7,000 soldiers is really unnecessary. Really unnecessary. Yeah, it allows you to seduce, but not romance. It is it is kind of weird. Yeah, I would think it'd be the other way around. Exactly. So, that's very strange to me. Um, but maybe it's because of how it ties into other mechanics or something. He knows what to do. He just doesn't want to include others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Children lack guardians. Oh, let's go ahead and get this sorted, eh? So much going on all at once. And th these guys don't have a commander, so that's not ideal. Budimir, put you in charge. Capable warrior that you are. Let's go ahead and take a look at, who is it? Noor and Iman. Fatima has an educator, Noor. What do we got over here? Rowdy. I guess I could work on your intrigue. Looks like that's what we're already doing. Who can educate you? Am I the best there is? No, we know our spy master is the best there is. Wearing your pajamas to court? Um, sorry. Offer ward. Princess Noor over here. Two. Oh, I guess he's already got too many. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and find characters in our top realm. Shake Silo. Yeah, you're my vassal. Okay, cool. Sure. So, Noor, we're going to send over. He likes me, so I'm not too worried about that. Send Princess Noor over to you. Yeah, he likes me. This will make him love me. Do not convert her culture or anything. Send that proposal over. And Iman over here. Also rowdy. Let's go with Marshall for you, perhaps. Yeah, let's go with Marshall for you. Switch things up a little bit. I don't think I'm the best educator, but we certainly have some people capable in our court. How about you? She'll teach you well. Go ahead and offer ward. She doesn't like us all that much. A little concerning. But this will make her like me. She's 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 the greatest warrior in our realm. Do not convert culture, do not convert faith. Send that proposal. We lost some of Brittany. Nah, this, uh, this, they already had this before, when we were looking at it first. They already had, uh, they already had that. Abduct underway. Four of the chances this happens right at the death here. A perfect opportunity has presented itself. Basilios will be traveling from the castle to the nearby town with nary any guards. He must think himself safe. The perfect time to strike. We are impatient, after all. Happy to accept education arrangement, good stuff. Before Basilios even knew what was happening, my agents had him. He is finally in my hands. I hope he likes his new quarters. Alright, good stuff. Let's go ahead and we'll deal with a couple things here. 
first of all, let's pause, because there's a lot happening. There's that engagement, that marriage happening, good stuff. Keep an eye on you, but also let's take a look at our perk over here. Uh, Ducal Conquest might not be a bad idea for the next step, so we can create the Kingdom of Aquitaine more easily, right? Let's do that as the next step, and then True Ruler will come afterwards. Continue on down, um, down this path to August, right? Over here... Well, let me check something really quickly. You said Syria is in France again? Oh, yeah, Syria is in France again. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see. Okay, so what have we got going on? Wait, are you born in the purple? I was like, you're not a... You're a hunchback, though. I was right, he was a, a, a bastard. But no, we, we we checked. He's an heir. He, he is the heir, so that's good. Um, what are we doing here? We are moving this army down to here, right? They're going to do that. We're going to split them up and put other things under siege of the possibility presents itself and you if i release you convert and gain a hook on you okay 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 ransom oh that's a lot of money we're not gonna go for a weak hook here that is a lot of money um wow that's a jump start to the economy right there if i ever saw one No, no, no. We came here with a plan. We came here with a plan. We just we just brought him over to talk. We're gonna demand your conversion. We're gonna get a weak hook as well. Use both. Wouldn't he just convert back? Uh possibly. Possibly. We could try and do our murder scheme first. Reduce the amount of time available for a, a possible reconversion. He could, he could. That is a risk that uh, we always take, Lewis. It's a lot of thinking for a two-year-old. Ah, we just gotta force them to think the way we want them to think. Murder is definitely in the books, Brian. That was the plan. Uh, I don't know if you caught it earlier, but the plan was to get Basilios, convert him, remove Basilios, sorry, get Basilius. Oh yeah, they're both. Okay, he's Basilios. This is Basilius. <laughs> um, anyway, um, the plan was to convert the prince, murder the emperor, and have a Zaidi prince in charge whose kids I could then, you know, arrange marriages with and stuff like that and, and create this powerful alliance. That was the plan here. So let's... Uh... That's not confusing at all. Uh, yeah, it, it, it adds up. It adds up. So let's, all right, let's start this scheme here. 11 months. Um, you are in house arrest, right? So we got to make sure. Yeah, you're in house arrest. You'll be fine for 11 months. We'll keep you comfortable. If we're lucky, something will accelerate this. But a decent success chance, decent, um, decent secrecy as well. And if you'll recall, his wife. We have a hook on his wife. So I should be able to, there she is, refuses, even with a strong hook. Now, there it is. That's weird. It should say, um, will accept. So I could use that strong hook here. That's kind of why we pay that gold. Nope. Byzantium is male preference primogeniture. Maxar. Uh, just to address address it, uh, Maxar suggested that Byzantium is elective. Doesn't seem to be the case here. Uh, the Duchy of Opsicon has an alternative thing, but these guys look like they are... Yeah. They are properly set in their ways of uh, male preference primogeniture, so we should be good. Uh, okay, so we've got the murder plot going. You know what? It's not going to make a difference. Um, actually, I guess I could speed things up a little bit. Go ahead and invite you. Let's use this hook. Again, it's a strong hook, so we might as well, right? Um, da -da 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 -da, forced to join. Can I be used again for five years? That's fine. We'll still have it afterwards for, you know, making money off of her and stuff like that. Go ahead and invite you. Why not? Why not? It's uh, in character, in keeping with what we were what we were doing, right? Go ahead and make our moves over here now. Storm Gamer, how's it going, man? How's it going? Glad you can make it. Concerned for my current war, my friend Emir Mikhail has paid out of his own treasury to aid my efforts. Wow. Yo, having a best friend is uh, is great. I mean, it's only 75 gold, but that's that's awesome. 
Don't you worry, man. Don't you worry. That gold, part of it's going to be used to, uh, <laughs> to install you as the Sultan of Aquitaine. In fact, we are almost able to afford it. Again, the price has dropped because we got Ducal Conquests. How about destroying the papacy? I, I, I've seen that get mentioned a couple times. Maybe is uh, is the thought right now. Maybe. Our goals at present are it, it's to form the Empire of Maghreb. Uh, staying in keeping with our uh, with our title. Maghrebi madness after all. Whoa, no, no, no. Don't even want to accidentally click on that. Uh, I can transfer. I might do that eventually. Can usurp the Kingdom of Brittany? Oh, are you serious? Man, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's so cool when... when um, when people go through and when AI goes through and your vassals do do things that allow for uh, for these great moves, uh, one of our counselors has passed away. Our steward, I assume. Yan Kovacic. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Thank you very much for subscribing. I do hope you're enjoying the show. Again, if you're enjoying the show, folks, make sure you leave a like. And if you're watching it as a vod, leave a like and a comment. It does make such a big difference in you know how I approach things on the channel. Oh man, my boy, he is so good. He is so good, I cannot wait. Well, he's my heir, so we're not going to land him. So until he becomes uh, Malik al Muazzam, we'll go ahead and make him our steward. Good stuff. Good stuff. Collect those taxes. I don't think we need to uh, convert culture. We've got this massive, you know, the, the Sultanate of uh, Aquitaine is already um, got its capital converted, so we're fine just making raising taxes. All right, good stuff, good stuff. And the too many duchies thing will be taken care of soon as well. Soon. All in good time. Uh, I think he, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll give him, um, I think I'll give him, um, Aquitaine. Brittany is too small for my best friend. My best friend deserves more than that. Brittany will give to somebody else. Brittany will give to somebody else. Alright. Siege is happening. We could split these guys up. And do what? I mean, I guess we'd go up over there. Sure, station besiegers. Everybody else, move up that way. Long way to go. Take some losses en route, but we'll be okay. And you, I want to make sure that... Okay, I guess a lot of people just don't like their current um, emperor, eh? Let's go ahead and assign a commander here who has good siege capabilities. I guess we don't have any military engineers available, eh? Not a problem, but we want at least somebody in charge. Don't want to just leave them like that. Neil W., fear not. The VOD will be up as soon as uh, the stream is done six months nice nice that's moving faster than i anticipated i'm not gonna lie oh a new son abdur rahman sure i do like that name oh my intelligent and handsome hell yeah hell yeah now we already have someone named after my great grandfather al kasim my heir what about my own father? Oh, he was also called Al-Kasim? Okay, we had so many Al-Kasims in this dynasty. After an ancestor? Mazig, Yahya, Mahomet. Not too many options, eh? I like Abdullah as well. Abdullah, it's a strong name, Abdullah. I like that, that BD. Or this is Abdullah, I guess. Abdullah would be... In my head, Abdullah? Come on. But we could stick with what's uh, what's right over here. Taught by the best chancellor, steward, or gen. Yeah, I mean this guy's uh, this guy's good. This guy's gonna be valuable. This guy's this guy's this guy's gonna be this guy's gonna be good. Aurangzeb, save those names for when we do our India run. <laughs> I know Abdullah. I like this. You grow to be strong and wise, my son. Yeah, Aurangzeb is a, is a little from a different part of the world. He's trying to stay, uh, I guess, oh, Hamdan. What does Hamdan mean? Our succession law is partition. Not confederate partition, but just partition. Unfortunately, we can't uh, go towards primogeniture or anything. Not not just yet. Not just yet. Uh, no, no, no. I think our current heir is just fine as well. This guy is pretty good. He's he's a genius. Not just intelligent, but a genius. And look at that stewardship. Right? It's like he's, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Bogdan uh, Chauru. Hope I got that right. Thank you very much for subscribing, buddy. Hope you're enjoying the show. Hope you're enjoying the show. Acquaintance taken prisoner. King Dubgen of Syria. Sure, I guess I know him. Oh, good stuff. Gain the trait architect. Good stuff. Very good stuff. I really should invest in my realm a bit more, shouldn't I? Acquaintance taken prisoner. 
How are we acquainted? We're just neighboring rulers. Catholic, too. Your jailer is uh, no one no one I care for. And another agent joined our scheme. Man, yeah, they really don't like their uh, emperor. Three months left. Let me just check over here. Primary heir is still the boy. Hmm. Has our heir had any kids yet? I don't think so. He only just got married. Well, actually, it's been it's been a few years now. Wonder if we should land him. I wonder if we should land him. The Muslim Roman Empire, the Empire of Rum, I guess. Rum, Rum. I think it's Rum. I'm pretty sure it's Rum. I'm trying to figure out when we do the convert and release. Maybe when one month is left. Maybe when one month is left. That would be, that would be amazing. Come on, I'll keep moving over here. Scheme discovered. Oh, come on. The existence of my plot to murder Basilius Callistos have been, has been discovered. While my involvement is not yet known, this will make it a lot more difficult to bring my plans to fruition. Apparently not, though. <laughs> Apparently not. Still 95%, 95%. All good. All good. Three months. I'm keeping an eye on this. I want to make sure I time this properly, right? Everything else in our realm is doing okay. Everything else in our realm is doing okay. I could actually, you know, hold on. Rather than take attrition here. How much loot? Oh. Not a lot, and it takes us out of our way. Let's stay on task. Are we done over here? We are done over here. I, I, I guess join up. I guess join up. The, uh, the, the onagers will be very helpful. Sure. Three months left over here. Let's go. Keep an eye on things. Two months left. All good. Negotiate alliances. I guess we've got um, family connections. Yeah, we've got some family connections. Sure. No harm in that. And one with Prince Shaban as well. These are vassals of my vassals, I think. Nonetheless. Sure. Marriage-free alliances. Why not? Keep moving over here. Alliance formed. Good stuff. Marvelous news. There's the other one. Good stuff. Marvelous news. Still two months. Waiting until one month left. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I, I want to speed it up, but I just want to make sure I don't miss that. Knowing, knowing me, I'm going to turn to look at chat exactly as that happens, which I almost just did. Now, this is interesting. These guys are making their moves over here. Who, who, who are you? Who do you serve? Ghana? Ah, that's, that's what's going on over here. Gotcha. Okay, interesting. Uh, nonetheless, one month left over here. Let's... Uh, See if our plans work as intended, right? Over to our court, to our prisoners, this young child over here. We will negotiate your release, demand your conversion, and let's get a weak hook on them. Have a little bit of power over them, right? Have a little bit of power over them. Let's do it. Okay, so that's happening, and at the same time, this is going to happen, because it takes some time for that negotiate release thing to actually trigger, right? We'll see what happens first. Might have been a little quick on the air trigger. Oh. Okay. On the Salamid Emirate. Anything worth chasing over here? Ooh, actually, this might be worth chasing. For somebody else, though? I don't know. I don't know if she's worth the gold. All right, here we go, folks. Here it is. Um... Unfortunately, I can't have the conversion happen first. Transition of power had better be secure here. It should be. It should be. But nonetheless, Ferris and peasants. With a recent upset among the peasants of Constantinople, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of Basilius Callistus. With coin in the right pockets and agitators on every corner, we could stage an entire riot while the Basilius is passing through the streets. Time for some good old-fashioned mob rule. Yeah, moment of truth indeed. All right, we're good here. Got the job done. Come on now. Basilius Callistos is dead, beat and trampled by his own subjects. The agitated peasants went wild seeing their liege riding through the streets and tore both him and several of his ferris from their mounts, beating them to death. Many peasants were hanged, including my agitators, which means it cannot be traced back to me. Excellent. Never underestimate the power of the mob. 
That is done. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Basilius Basilios II of the Byzantine Empire. Farewell, good boy. Farewell. So, I've got my hook, and I've got a Zaidi emperor installed in the Byzantine Empire. Making those moves, damn right. Operation Olive Tree. <laughs> Uh, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. There's no marriages to be arranged. Oh, well, no alliance to be had from here. Oh, hang on a second. Not a chance for this. But we can secure this, um, hang on a second. I wasn't even thinking about this. Send one of my daughters over. Do it right away. Do it right away. We don't even need to use a hook. We don't even need to use a hook. What? Oh my. All right. Okay. This is great. This is great. We can't do matrilineal, unfortunately. It will not affect. And even a, even a hook won't do the trick here. That would be ridiculous. So could you imagine? Could you imagine? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Which of our daughters, though? Which of our daughters? Fatima, the beautiful, the quick, or Dua? The quick. Fatima is deceitful. Hmm. Who do we send over? Who do we send over? Perhaps Dua. We've joked about the luck of Fatima. They will make beautiful hunchbacks. <laughs> Good point. Good point, actually, catching the fact that he's he's hunchback. It would probably be a waste of uh, of the beautiful uh, beautiful trait. Dua, as ages are closer. That's a good point, too. He's three, she's four. It won't be as much of a difference. That's true, that's true. This is exciting. Yeah, Nisai, I, I, I'm so glad this has worked out. Dua, she'll live longer, and if she's not de deceitful, then she's less likely to be kicked to the curb. That's also a good point. That's also a good point, Ryan. Yeah, let's go with Dua. There it is. Chance of children is medium. Uh, unfortunately, again, still, still can't make it matrilineal. And we still have the hook. We still have the hook. This is great. So we've got Princess Dua bint Ismail Ababwa of the Idrisid Empire marrying Basilius, Basilios II of the Byzantine Empire. Well, they're getting betrothed since they are both children. They'll be of the Macedon dynasty. That's okay. Wow. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he actually likes me. I guess because I released him? Display of, oh, because of our religion, right, because we're the same faith now, <laughs> right, of course. Of course. And that personal diplomacy tipping it, uh, tipping it over. Hot damn. All right, send this proposal. So Dua and Vasilius. I cannot believe this has happened. I, you know what? I legit thought that was going to fail. I was so sure that one of the many like points of failure would come to being. Use a hook to get him as your student and change his culture. Ooh. I don't think I can though, cause he's land. Uh, you know what? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Eventually. Oh man. Dude. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Convert culture. Bring him to our court as well. Keep him safe. Use that hookup for this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Becomes my ward. Will become a grebby. Will. Not might. Will become a grebby. Perfect use of that hook. I'm so excited. That is a great that is a great call. Absolutely. That is a fantastic call. Holy hell yeah. Oh my. That that is a power block now. That is a power block. Happy to see the proposed education arrangement. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit indeed. Indeed. I'm so excited. This is huge. This is huge. 
These guys are 14, they're massive, right? 1,400 strong. 14,000 strong, sorry. 14,000 strong. And, I mean, I'm taking some losses right now. Let's make sure we're not caught in a battle we don't want to be. Um, oh, we are, we are, we are, we are powerful together. We are powerful together. Making McGrebby Madness a global phenomenon. Yeah, eh? honestly, I didn't expect that to flip. But if they start converting to McGrebby, how cool would that be? Oh, my lord. Amira Beatrix rules over the nearby Sheikhdom of Givaudan, which is home to a large number of devout Zaidis. The Waldensian Emira could easily persecute the faithful Zaidis living there, and it is my responsibility to protect them from her evil influence. We cannot allow her to oppress the faithful, smuggle as many as we can to safety, or send an envoy to discuss their treatment. Okay. I feel like sending an envoy is the most fitting. It is the most um, appropriate for a diplomat, right? Not super likely to succeed, but uh, but I think it's the most in character. An unpressed claim. I mean, the shakedom of. I can always revoke her title if she becomes that kind of violent, right? Send an envoy. Send an envoy. Good stuff. It worked out. Good stuff. Now this war is hopefully almost done as well. Won't take that much longer. And if we take a look at our diplomacy screen over here. Allied to you, to you, to you, to you. There we go. Allied to Basilius, Basilios II of the Byzantine Empire. Because I saw one of you ask, uh, just to be sure. I hope so. You're allied to the Byzantines? Yes, we are. We are indeed. Man, that's so cool. Honest, that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm so pleased. That's diplomacy for you. That's diplomacy for you. Now, these guys are very low on supplies. I should actually, you know what, station besiegers and let the rest of these guys pull away to uh, somewhere where they'll resupply. These guys are coming through over here. I might need to cut them off. We're very undersupplied, actually. Pull you up to here. Get those supplies before you start dying out. Yeah, that's a. It's going to be a long-term alliance. Like that is a long alliance. The only thing we have to be concerned about, the only thing we have to be concerned about, is deposition. Oh, you know his vassals like him. No, no, they like me. They don't like him. All his vassals like me. I guess because we've worked together to liberate them from their old tyrant, but they don't like their current guy. Hopefully, he'll sort that out. Okay. Hopefully they'll sort that out okay. Interesting stuff. What is this? I've discovered that Sheikh Budimir inherited contracts obliges him to more than you have collected. Oh, time to write this wrong or gain a favor on him. I don't need a favor on him. Let's write this wrong. Good stuff. You saw the number change up over there. Over here, what are we looking at here? Let's let's, let's finish this uh, siege over here. Good stuff. Prisoners taken. Siege one. Really hoping that would take us to 100%. <laughs> so I could end this war today as well. But alas, that's not the case. That is not the case. This will continue next time, folks. Because we've hit that uh, three-hour mark when we call it a session. So it is time to call it a session. If you're his ally, you can help him in his wars, rebellions. I should be able to assist him in any trouble. Well, yeah, but I mean... Sorry, when I said deposition, I mean if, of the more insidious sort. If he gets assassinated, for example. I don't know if he's going to be forcing the conversion of some of his, you know, sons and vassals and whatnot. We can only hope that he does that. He's very young. He's only three. So it'll be a while before he's able to do everything as freely as he wants to. But this will be an interesting plot thread to follow. This will be a very interesting plot thread to follow, folks. And follow it, we shall. Like I said, this is where today's session comes to an end. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the session. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and let me know. Uh, I do think, thank you, Classified. I agree. That was a that was a that was a great final act to today's stream. To have that huge project of ours that we've been working on since the middle of last session, to have that finally pay off is great. The worst thing that could happen is early next session, he dies, gets murdered, or something horrible happens. But at least we can sleep easy and sleep well, knowing that we accomplished that task. 
Um, honestly, what the most powerful power block over here, the most powerful block between the Byzantines and the Idrisid Empire. It's all Maghrebi. It's all uh, Maghrebi madness, I suppose you could say. Next session, which will be on Monday, again, same time to kick things off, Monday of next week, we will take Mazab, and then shortly thereafter, uh, we will create the uh, Sultanate of Aquitaine to give it to our best friend, and then shortly thereafter, go to war with Ghana. It's, uh, it's going to be a good time, folks, so I hope you'll join us then. Uh, for now, though, as always, I want to give a massive thanks to all of you for joining in. Uh, thank you again, YouTube Circle, for dropping that Discord link, folks. If you aren't already in our Discord, make sure you join up. It is a wonderful community of wonderful people having a wonderful time, basically all the time. And uh, yeah, if you, if you hit that link, you can join us over there. Uh, there's lots of Crusader Kings action going on as well, some multiplayer gameplay too. So, you know, don't hesitate if you're into that. Uh, but also other strategy games and sim games and things like that as well, uh, as well as just, just hanging out and, and, and chatting too. It's always a good time. Um, thank you again for, for joining in. Thank you as well for the super chats. Uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you as well if you're still in here. Uh, for joining in as a new member. We have some new additions today, so that's always great to see. It really does help support the channel and also cannot end the stream without saying thanks. And of course, we can't end the stream without saying thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who have been supporting this channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. Uh, greatly appreciate it. So thank you very much for that support. We'll be adding the new name from today uh, and from messages I received over the weekend as well. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, again, a massive thanks to all of you and a massive thanks, of course, as well to all of you for joining in and watching, whether you're watching live or you're watching the VODs, uh, you know, thanks. I hope you're having a good time because I certainly am. Uh, thank you all again. I was seeing, uh, you saying, say my farewells to chat as well. Have a nice rest of the week. Saketh, you as well. Again, tomorrow we are building an empire of a different sort. We're going to start at the same time tomorrow, uh, but a different game. It's the same one we played last week. Um, uh, Cartel Tycoon, uh, I believe is its full name, uh, the Uncut Earliest Access Edition. Uh, so that should be a fun time tomorrow as well. So hopefully I'll catch some of y'all tomorrow uh, in, in, in the stream. If not, then I'll catch you either in the Discord or in the comments to the various videos or next week Monday. Uh, but whatever that might be, whenever that might be, again, thank you all very much and cheers.